Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, People in Western Capital. Choose the Angel Bloodline at the start. Chapter 91. There are some things I can't help myself. Ron could only continue to laugh. Even the current self has power beyond gods of destruction Beerus. But I know very well that in this world, my strength is definitely not strong. People like Zeno and Grand Priest can still wipe themselves out easily. Maybe you only need to move your fingers, and you will disappear in smoke. Understand. Number 17 nodded in understanding. Indeed, in this world, there are many involuntary. Just like the current self, as a cyborg with powerful strength, he still has to work hard for his life running around. I have to commute to get off work on time every day, and then support my family. And at this moment, two children suddenly ran out of the room. Behind him was a woman with exquisite facial features who looked about 26 or 17 years old. Papa, Papa, who are they two? Why did you come to our house? There are two children, a boy and a girl. The boy looks older, probably about four years old. The girl was younger, probably under three years old, and she still staggered when she walked. There are guests at home, how can you let them stand outside? Hurry up and let the guests in. The woman said very gently. Obviously, he is no seventeen's wife. Let me introduce to you, this is my sister Lazri, and this is my brother-in-law Ron. Number seventeen introduced to the woman and two children. But the two children were at a loss. Because it was the first time they saw these two people in front of them, they looked very strange. So it's my sister and brother-in-law, please hurry up. After hearing no seventeen's introduction, the woman became more polite. Then several people walked into the room. The layout of the room is relatively simple, but very tidy. It can be seen that No Seventeen's wife is a very virtuous woman. Sister, I often hear him mention you, but I have never had a chance to see you. I finally got the chance to meet you today, my sister is really more beautiful than what he described. The wife of Number Seventeen held the hand of Number Eighteen, and the two began to chat. But what she said was not to please Number. 18. But I sincerely say that number 18 is indeed very beautiful. I have seen many women, but I have almost never seen one who can reach the level of 18. Whether it's her temperament, appearance or figure, they are all so perfect. After sitting for two hours, No 17's wife also cooked some meals for entertainment. The current number 17 has become more enthusiastic, which is completely different from nine years ago. After all, he was still an arrogant teenager nine years ago, and Ron still remembers the scene when he thought he was number one in the universe. But the current number 17 has become a wife and father. So the character is also more stable and introverted. After dinner and a few simple greetings, Ron and number 18 were ready to leave. Sister and brother-in-law, are you leaving so soon? Although our place is poor, the environment is very good. Would you like to stay for a few more days? No 17's wife was very hospitable and asked to stay. We won't bother you today. I am very happy to see you today. There are also two such cute little nephews. Number 18 gently stroked the heads of the two children and said with a smile. It could be seen that she was happy from the bottom of her heart. Aunt and uncle, when will you come to play with us again? The little boy was also a little reluctant to ask. In fact, Children of this age are the easiest to establish relationships with others. So in just a short time, this little kid has already made a very good relationship with No. 18. Anyway, the same blood runs between them. Don't worry, my aunt will come to see you in a few days. I will definitely buy you a lot of fun toys by then. Number 18 touched the little boy's small brain and said with a gentle smile. To be honest, after knowing number 18 for such a long time, Ron saw such a gentle smile on number 18 for the first time. Although a little reluctant, the two finally left. Now we know the exact location of their home on the 17th. When do you think about it, it will be over soon. After returning home, Ron did not practice. Instead, he continued to go shopping with number 18, watching movies and so on. After all, Girls need to be coaxed, and they also want to relax. In a blink of an eye, three days passed. And this day was early in the morning, just after breakfast. An uninvited guest came. And this uninvited guest made Ron feel a little surprised. It was Vegeta who had been humiliated three times by himself. Hey, I said, 
what can you do if you run away? Could it be that you are still unconvinced and want to compete with Russia? Ron looked at Vegeta and asked indifferently. To be honest, I have never had a good impression of Vegeta. Especially the arrogant and self-righteous Vegeta in Dragon Balls. But I don't really like Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super, but I don't really hate it either. After all, Vegeta in Dragon Ball is more full of emotions than Son Goku, and more like a human with flesh and blood and feelings. Please don't get me wrong, Mr. Ron. I didn't come here this time to compete with you, because I know that no matter how I practice, I will never be your opponent. Vegeta immediately opened his mouth to explain. Although this answer is considered flattery, it is also true. Where Ron was standing now, he was no longer in the same dimension as him. No matter how much I practice with my own efforts, it is absolutely impossible to surpass Ron. Absolutely. Of course, this is also the main reason why I came to Ron this time. Oh, looks like you finally have a little self-knowledge. After hearing Vegeta's answer, Ron smiled and then continued to ask. You didn't come to compete with me, so why are you here? Actually, Vegeta had a bit of embarrassment on his face. But after gritted his teeth tightly, he replied sonorously, The purpose of my coming this time is to let Mr. Ron guide me in cultivation, please. Obviously, Vegeta himself was not used to saying such words. But that Kakarot actually followed that whist to the planet of gods of destruction to train without telling him yesterday. After hearing the news, I almost exploded with anger. Because in this way, if Kakarot gets the guidance of gods of destruction, then in a short while, his strength will definitely surpass himself. So if you want to catch up with his footsteps, or even surpass him, you must also get the guidance and guidance of gods of destruction or Mr. Ron who is stronger than gods of destruction. Look for me to practice. I think there is something wrong with your brain. Vegeta. Why did you suddenly come to me to guide you in cultivation? Don't you think that in itself is a very ridiculous thing? I remember that a few days ago, you still hated me so much. Looking at the sincere Vegeta, Ron smiled and said jokingly. He never thought that Vegeta would come to him to guide him in cultivation. You must know how proud he was before, and how strong his self-esteem was. His performance today is completely inconsistent with his Vegeta character. If it was Son Goku who came to find him, then he wouldn't be surprised at all. But if the person who came here was replaced by Vegeta, I was a little confused. Mr. Ron, I was really wrong about the previous things. It's because I'm a bit blind. 683. So please don't take offense. I came this time to sincerely want to find you to practice. Vegeta straightened her body, bowed, and said to Ron sincerely. The reason why I hated Ron so much in the past was indeed because of my self-esteem and arrogance. Because he felt that a human being was actually stronger than himself, a majestic Saiyan prince. Of course he couldn't bear this kind of thing. Especially when I just became Super Saiyan, I was easily defeated. That kind of humiliation, that kind of humiliation really hit him very hard. But just a few days ago, Ron defeated Gods of Destruction Beerus with an absolute advantage. And at the same time, I also got the news that Ron is not a human being, but a god through and through. A god beyond the Gods of Destruction. I can bow my knees in front of Gods of Destruction Beerus, without any regard for dignity and face. Then why didn't I give up my arrogance and self-esteem in front of Ron who was stronger than gods of destruction? Then get stronger, you go back, Vegeta. To be honest, I have no interest in guiding you in cultivation, and I don't have the time either. Ron said flatly to Vegeta. Although I don't hate Vegeta in this period. But it doesn't mean that I can guide him to practice. Mr. Ron, this is what I have prepared for you. It's a villa next to Exidu Food Street. I know these extraneous things are a bit too tacky for Mr. Ron not to say. But I really don't know what Mr. Ron likes. A key to a villa on the ground, Vegeta said with a sincere expression. Ron looked at the key to the villa in Vegeta's hand. It seems that this guy is indeed well prepared and fully prepared. Although a villa is really not attractive to itself. But it can also be seen that Vegeta sincerely wants to practice with him, and this guy is also very good at life. Number 18 looked at the key to the villa in Vegeta's hand and was a little surprised. Is this the means of the richest man in the western capital? It's so easy to give a villa to someone else. Like it, number 18. 
Ron looked at number 18, then asked. This rental house of mine does seem a bit shabby. It would be nice to have a bigger villa instead. But I don't have money in my hand now, although with my own strength, it is appropriate to rob the bank. But such a thing, I really don't like doing it that much. It doesn't quite fit my personality either. Um. If you can have a big villa, it would be nice to think about it. Speaking of which, I've grown up so much, I haven't lived in a villa yet. Number 18 nodded, then looked up at Ron and said. A large villa is attractive to anyone. Especially next to Exidu Food Street. In that case, Ron glanced at Vegeta, and then said. Then put the key down, as for me to guide you in cultivation, I'll think about it a little bit. Okay, Mr. Ron. Hearing that Ron actually accepted the key, Vegeta nodded excitedly. Then he handed the key to Ron respectfully. This is indeed a bit out of Vegeta's character. But it also depends on the person. If Ron is just a human from Earth, no matter how powerful he is, he will definitely not be like this. But Ron is now a god, and a god beyond the gods of destruction. So in this case, even if I let go of my self-esteem a little bit, what's the problem? And the more important question now is that the guy from Kakarot country has gone to the gods of destruction world to practice. If he is still self-cultivating on the earth, Kakarot will definitely surpass himself in a short time. Even the gap between the two will become bigger and bigger. This is something that I can hardly accept anyway. By the way, Vegeta, why didn't that Son Goku guy come with you? According to my understanding, he seems to be more enthusiastic about fighting than you. Ron asked curiously, Son Goku in Dragon Ball Super, that is simply a fighting maniac. More like a qualified Saiyan than Vegeta. So today he didn't have anyone to ask him to train him, which really surprised him. Kakarot, when talking about Son Goku, Vegeta clenched his fist tightly. Then he said unwillingly, the guy named Whis came to Earth yesterday, and I don't know what Kakarot did, and let that guy bring him to the Gods of Destruction world. Now it's time to practice in the Gods of Destruction world. After finishing speaking, Vegeta's face was full of unhappiness and jealousy. Son Goku went to God Realm. Fine, Ron was stunned for a moment, he didn't expect Son Goku to be brought to God Realm by Whis. So obviously, Beerus and Whis have started training Son Goku. Under the training of the two of them, it is estimated that Son Goku's strength will surpass Vegeta soon. No wonder Vegeta was so anxious at this time. Even the self-esteem and arrogance that I value most can be discarded. Um, Vegeta clenched his fists and nodded. In that case, then you can bring me a large cruise ship tomorrow, your family should not lack such things. At that time, I will start to guide you in cultivation. Ron nodded thoughtfully. Now that Beerus and Whis have decided to train Son Goku, let's train Vegeta himself. After a while, let's see who is stronger, Son Goku or Vegeta. Really, really, thanks, thank you Mr. Ron. Hearing that Ron suddenly agreed, this sudden sense of happiness instantly made Vegeta extremely excited. Of course it's true, is it any good for me if I lie to you? Also, I didn't train you from the bottom of my heart. It's just that Whis and Beerus are training Son Goku, so I hope to train you out. When the time comes, I must defeat Son Goku. Don't embarrass me. Ron spoke in a calm tone. Don't worry Mr. Ron, I will definitely defeat Kakarot. Vegeta was very firm in his promise. As long as you get the training from Mr. Ron, defeating Kakarot will definitely not be a difficult task. Have absolute confidence in yourself. Those, bring the yacht over tomorrow, and then you can start training. After Ron finished speaking to Vegeta, Vegeta couldn't wait to go home. If you have a villa and a cruise ship and you can let Mr. Ron guide your training, it is really a bargain. Their family lacks everything, not just money. I'm so sorry Ron, but you can say no to Vegeta if you don't want to. We can earn our own money to buy villas. As for the yacht, it's just a random talk on the 17th, and you don't need to pay attention to the 12th at all. It's just that she still feels a little guilty. Because before Ron agreed to Vegeta, he asked his opinion first. And he asked Vegeta for a yacht, probably because he heard what number 17 said yesterday. He wants to sail the yacht firsthand, and then travel with his family. It's nothing. Anyway, I can get a villa and a yacht by simply guiding him. This is a very good deal. Why refuse? Ron shrugged and smiled. In fact, my main idea is not villas and yachts. 
These things are actually not very attractive to me anymore. I just want to see, if I train Vegeta by myself, will Vegeta or Son Goku be stronger after a few months? Oh well, no matter when it is, I still hope you don't feel embarrassed because of me. Number 18 nodded, and then spoke. But he was more or less guilty, because she always felt that Ron promised Vegeta had something to do with her. Don't think too much, anyway, just deal with it casually. Ron looked at number 18 who was a little bit lost and guilty, and comforted him. Early the next morning, Vegeta came back with a capsule. Mr. Ron, this is a luxury yacht ready. If you are not satisfied with anything, you can tell me directly, and I will improve it. Vegeta became more polite now. After all, whether he can catch up with Kakarot's footsteps, whether he can become the strongest Saiyan, now depends on Ron. Okay, that's it. Since you are so caring, I will train hard from today on. After I finish my breakfast, we will go to the spiritual time room for training. Ron nodded and said. After a simple breakfast, Ron and Vegeta went to the spiritual time room of the Tenjin Temple. The spiritual time house is definitely the best place to practice. One year here is equivalent to one day outside. As long as he cultivates in it for two days, Vegeta's strength will definitely be greatly improved. And taking this opportunity, I can also consolidate my own strength. Vegeta, Son Goku has become Super Saiyan God. His strength has far surpassed yours. It is no exaggeration to say that he can easily defeat you with just one finger. But you don't have to worry, because as long as I guide you, you can catch up with or even surpass Son Goku in a few days. Ron said confidently. He is confident because he knows Saiyan's method of ascension. It is clearer which path Vegeta is suitable for. Really, can I really overtake Kakarot in a few days? That's up to Mr. Ron. After hearing Ron's words, Vegeta was naturally extremely excited and excited. You must know that he is eager to defeat Kakarot every day, even every minute and every second, and become the first subhuman in the universe. Now is the chance, and Mr. Ron can make himself surpass Kakarot in a few days. This is something I never dared to imagine before. When Kakarot defeated Majin Buu before, he did admit that Kakarot was the number one Saiyan in universe. But in the past few years, my transcendent heart has begun to move. I am still unwilling to be suppressed by Kakarot all the time. Do you think I have to lie to you? Ron squinted at Vegeta. Then he said, Actually, if you want to surpass Son Goku, there are two paths you can choose. And as Saiyan, there are two ways to improve. What way? Vegeta asked impatiently. First of all, the first one is to become Super Saiyan God like Son Goku, continuing the line of God. Of course, there are many forms and realms in Super Saiyan. Next is the second type, which is relatively more stable, and I think it is more suitable for you. The second is the evolution of the Saiyan bloodline. I can turn you into Super Saiyan 4 in a very short period of time, by then your strength will definitely surpass Super Saiyan God Son Goku. Of course, this transformation is called Great 8 Saiyan, and it can also be called Super Saiyan 4. Looking at Vegeta who couldn't wait, Ron said. You must know that although Vegeta is often suppressed by Son Goku in strength, he is the prince of Saiyan after all. And he has shown a strong cultivation talent since he was a child. The reason why he has been suppressed by Son Goku is entirely a matter of mentality. Son Goku and Vegeta's training methods are completely different. Vegeta is in a state of mental tension all the time, so no matter what kind of battle it is, he cannot exert his full strength. But Son Goku's personality is completely opposite to Vegeta's. Great 8th Saiyan, Super Saiyan 4. Upon hearing this name, Vegeta's eyes flashed an elite light. He has seen what Super Saiyan God looks like before. Although it is undeniable that the strength has indeed become very strong, but the appearance is indeed difficult to describe. It's like dyeing Super Saiyan's blonde hair red. And to be honest, I am a widow. Naturally, I prefer to take the route of Saiyan bloodline evolution. Now that I have this opportunity to choose, I would of course prefer to choose Saiyan's bloodline evolution route. More importantly, Mr. Ron said just now, as long as he becomes Super Saiyan IV. You will be able to have power beyond Kakarot. And this is what I dream of now. Mr. Ron, I choose Saiyan's bloodline evolution route, please guide me to become Super Saiyan 4. Almost without much thought or hesitation, Vegeta said directly to Ron. I choose Super Saiyan 4, 
the root of bloodline evolution, partly because I feel that I am more suitable for the root of bloodline evolution. Because he is a pure blood Saiyan prince. If I become a god in the future, I always feel a bit awkward about being useful. Of course, this is only part of the reason. Another big reason is that since the guy Kakarot has chosen the root of God. Then if I have other choices, I will definitely not follow in his footsteps. So I must become Super Saiyan 4, and then defeat Kakarot's Super Saiyan God. Have you decided yet? Actually, there are many transformation forms beyond Super Saiyan God. Ron looked at Vegeta and asked in confirmation. Yes, I've made up my mind. Super Saiyan God's strengthening root, I leave it to Kakarot. I must go through the bloodline evolution route and defeat Kakarot who became Super Saiyan God. Vegeta clenched his fists tightly and said firmly. As long as there is Mr. Ron's guidance, he will soon be able to defeat Kakarot. Then become the strongest Saiyan in the universe. Okay, since you are so determined, then I will teach you to become Super Saiyan 4. Ron also nodded seriously. In fact, he really wants to know whether Super Saiyan 4 is stronger or Super Saiyan God is stronger. In the past, this issue has always been debated by many people. Now in real life, I can finally draw a real result. After a while, Super Saiyan God's son Goku and Super Saiyan 4's Vegeta will fight. That would be absolutely brilliant. Although their strength is far from that of themselves and Beerus. But this will definitely not affect the intensity of this game. And according to my own observations, Son Goku and Vegeta's current basic combat power is almost the same. And Vegeta's basic combat power is a bit stronger than Son Goku. Mr. Ron, if I want to become Super Saiyan 4, what do I need to prepare? Vegeta asked. It is absolutely impossible to obtain superpowers without paying anything. Actually, there are no special requirements, as long as your strength reaches Super Saiyan. There is another very important requirement, that is, you must have Saiyan's tail, but I have already figured out a way for this, as long as you endure a little pain, it can be done. Ron said lightly, actually Saiyan's tail is the source of Saiyan's power. And if you want to become Super Saiyan 4, it is absolutely impossible without a tail. Even if it is barely possible to use Super Boolean Light to become Super Saiyan 4, but that is only temporary. With the tail to become Super Saiyan 4, that is the power you really get. Tail, Vegeta froze for a moment. Didn't expect my tail to have such a function. But when he came to Earth for the first time, his tail was chopped off by that fat man Guy Feng John Hao, Yaki Luobei. In the past, I thought the tail was useless, so I never thought of a way to regrow the tail. But I didn't expect to use the tail when I wanted to become Super Saiyan 4 today. And at this time in the Gods of Destruction world of the seventh universe. Beerus was eating instant noodles, and Whis was teaching Son Goku to practice. Hey Son Goku, I've almost eaten the food you brought over. If you don't have other food to bring, don't practice in the God realm in the future. After Beerus finished eating a bucket of instant noodles, he said to Son Goku in a sarcastic manner. Although I let Son Goku practice food here is part of the reason, but the more important reason is. Son Goku can become Super Saiyan God, which shows that his talent is also very strong. Give him a little guidance, and maybe he can become a strong man in the seventh universe in the future. Even if it can't catch up to Ron's level, at least it should be considered difficult to find a match in other universes. Okay, Master Beerus, I'll bring more food next time. Son Goku immediately agreed. After seeing the battle between Ron and Master Beerus last time, he became more determined to become stronger. So as long as he can practice with Whis and Beerus, it doesn't matter if he prepares the most delicacies. At this time Whis also stopped training. Then, he said to Son Goku and Beerus. I heard that Vegeta has been practicing with Ron. It seems that Ron wants to continue to compete with Lord Beerus. Quote. Cut. That idiot actually started to guide Vegeta. But it doesn't matter, we all know the strength of Vegeta, how could he be Son Goku's opponent? Even if you know Ron's teachings, it is absolutely impossible to surpass Son Goku in a short period of time. After all, this guy already possesses the power of God. Virus curled his lips and said nonchalantly. If Son Goku hadn't turned into a Super Saiyan God, Vegeta might still have some chances against Son Goku. But Son Goku after becoming Super Saiyan God will never put Vegeta in his eyes. Because the gap between the two of them is too great. 
Ha, huh, that fellow Vegeta actually practiced with Ron. It looks like I have to train harder. Son Goku also spoke at this time. Get Zhao. Maybe other people don't know about Vegeta's cultivation talent, but he knows it very well. In fact, Vegeta's cultivation talent is no worse than his own. If Ron guides him now, his strength will definitely be improved the most. So are you serious about training, Mr. Goku? Otherwise, if you lose to Vegeta at that time, you will lose not only your people, but Master Beerus will also lose face very much. Whis said to Son Goku with a smile. Judging from the current situation, Son Goku and Vegeta will definitely have a fight. And this battle is actually another contest between Ron and Lord Beerus. Um, I will definitely work hard. Son Goku nodded very seriously. He was even more curious at this time, wondering what level Vegeta could reach when they met next time. Will he become a Super Saiyan God like himself? Thinking about it really makes people feel excited and looking forward to it. Whis, you should hurry up and guide me in cultivation. Under Ron's guidance, Vegeta will definitely become very strong. I don't want to lose to Vegeta. Son Goku turned his head and said to Whis immediately. Expectations belong to expectations, but I still have to work hard to practice now. Never lose to Vegeta. This is not because I am competitive, but because I want to be the strongest. Fine, if that's the case, let's move on. But before we start, I want to tell you one thing. Do you know why Ron and Lord Beerus were able to accurately avoid every attack of Lord Beerus in the previous battle? Whis looked at Son Goku, and then asked seriously. Forehead. Son Goku was stunned for a moment, then shook his head after thinking about it. He replied, Maybe, it's because Ron is much stronger than Master Beerus. Even if this is the case, Master Beerus may not like to hear it. But this is indeed the idea in my heart. If it wasn't for the fact that Ron was much stronger than Lord Beerus, why would he be able to avoid the attacks of others, Lord Ruth, very accurately every time? And the body didn't move much from beginning to end. Cut. What the hell are you talking about? How could that guy Ron be stronger than me? Beerus immediately cursed. Although I lost to Ron. But didn't he lose in basic strength? Instead, they lost to Ultra Instinct and Flash Time. If he didn't have the blessings of these two abilities, he could defeat him in minutes. Look at the angry Beerus and the innocent son Goku. Whis smiled and explained. Actually, Ron's strength is indeed not as strong as Master Beerus. The reason why he was able to defeat Master Beerus, and every time he was able to dodge Master Beerus's attacks accurately. This is because Ron has mastered an ability called Ultra Instinct. To be more precise, justice is a realm, but it may be easier for you to call it an ability for you to understand. Beerus explained as carefully as possible. Nani. Ultra Instinct, I've never heard of this ability. Son Goku shook his head, the look of surprise on his face was even worse. Has he never heard of Ultra Instinct? And what Whis and Beerus said just now also surprised him. Lord Beerus's basic strength is stronger than Ron's, but Ron showed the strength to easily defeat Lord Beerus during the battle. Is it all because of what they call Ultra Instinct? If this is the case, then this ability called Ultra Instinct, or the realm, is too powerful, right? Generally speaking, this is a realm that can only be mastered by gods. It's normal if you don't know. Because there are twelve universes in this world, and correspondingly there are twelve gods of destruction. Among all the gods of destruction, only Beerus's discounted free and easy work has reached the entry stage. Wiss went on to explain. Just kidding, even Lord Beerus can't master it perfectly, but Ron has mastered it. Ron's guy, isn't it too scary? Son Goku was even more surprised. I was even more horrified. Compared with Master Beerus, Ron seems ridiculously strong. And Beerus gritted his teeth in anger. Facing Whis, he said, you guys can teach as much as you want, why are you talking so much nonsense? Besides, it's not that I can't learn Ultra Instinct, I'm just too lazy to learn the divine skills of your angel. What he said was not angry words, but facts. Because Gods of Destruction also has its own God skills, the power is not weaker than Ultra Instinct at all. And this kind of god skill called freedom doesn't fit the character of gods of destruction BCE at all. Mr. Wiss, then you must also be Ultra Instinct, right? Can you teach me Ultra Instinct? Son Goku immediately asked with longing. If Ultra Instinct is so powerful, 
if you learn it by yourself, your strength will definitely increase a lot. I can teach you Ultra Instinct. However, I have to tell you that Ultra Instinct is definitely not so easy to master, it requires a very high level of mind. If you can't do it in your heart, you can't understand Ultra Instinct at all if you are absolutely calm and calm. Whisk continued to speak seriously. This is also why many gods of destruction are unable to master the Ultra Instinct. Because of their gods of destruction each character is more irritable. It simply does not meet the Xinxing requirements for cultivating Ultra Instinct. But Son Goku is a careless guy, maybe he's easier to learn than gods of destruction. And at this time in the spiritual time room of the earth. After several hours of painful experience, Vegeta's tail finally grew out. At this moment, Vegeta was sweating profusely, the experience just now was too painful. Mr. Ron, now that my tail has grown back, what should we do? Suppressing the sharp pain from the base of his tail, Vegeta asked. Although it hurts, as long as he can improve his strength, it won't have any effect on him at all. The rest is easy. As long as you become Super Saiyan, and then on the basis of Super Saiyan, you become a great ape. Finally change back to the normal Super Saiyan form, and you can still reach Super Saiyan 4. Ron replied flatly. In fact, it is easier for Vegeta, who is a Saiyan prince, to become a Super Saiyan than Son Goku. Because Saiyan is just an ordinary Saiyan bloodline. After becoming a great ape, he will lose his reason. It is very difficult to change back to Super Saiyan's transformation again. In Dragon Ball GT, Son Goku still remembers the past because of the tears of his granddaughter Xiaofang. It eventually became Super Saiyan 4. Otherwise, he'll just be a rampaging gorilla who knows nothing but destruction. But Vegeta is different. He is the Prince of Saiyan, belonging to the new nobility of Vegeta. He has pure royal blood. So after turning into a gorilla, I don't know medical science at all. So if you want to become like a Super Saiyan, it will be easier. Should I become Super Saiyan first? A serious look appeared on Vegeta's face. Obviously, he was trying his best to suppress his excitement. But when he thinks that he will soon become Super Saiyan 4, and his strength can surpass Kakarot, he will feel inexplicably excited. And it's very, very exciting. Then his fists were suddenly clenched. Golden flames erupted from his body in an instant. Then directly into the form of Super Saiyan 2. A blue electric arc swirls around the body. Vegeta in this period is indeed very strong. If it is also Super Saiyan 2, Son Goku and Son Gohan are really not Vegeta's opponents. Very good, now I will change into the form of a great ape based on this. Remember, keep your Super Saiyan transformation while changing into great ape form. Ron nodded at Vegeta, then spoke. Vegeta nodded very seriously. Now is the most critical time. He was both excited and extremely nervous at the same time. Then, Vegeta suddenly stretched his arms, and pulled away a posture. The terrifying golden flames instantly spread towards the surroundings. And at that moment, it was obvious that the entire spiritual time room was shaking. Ha ha. With roars, Vegeta directly turned into a golden giant ape. The height is about the size of a small mountain. Standing in front of him, Ron looked a little insignificant. To be honest, it was the first time for Ron to see this kind of golden giant ape, and he was really curious. After observing for a while, Ron continued, Okay, now change back to Super Saiyan form again. After turning into the giant ape form, Vegeta can completely maintain his sanity. After hearing Ron's words, golden arrogance lingered around his body again. Then directly wrapped Vegeta's body. The golden light instantly covered the entire spiritual time room. The space that was originally white has now completely turned into gold. The entire spiritual time room, and even the entire temple of heaven began to shake violently. Time passed by every minute and every second. The golden light also began to disappear little by little. Vegeta's body appeared in front of Ron again. At this time, Vegeta has undergone tremendous changes. Whether it is his appearance or his aura, there has been a huge change. I didn't expect it to be really successful. Congratulations, Vegeta. Looking at Vegeta who has become Super Saiyan 4 in front of him, Ron said with a smile. The black spire stands tall, but unlike before carrying the guitar, his shoulders and back are also covered with strands of black hair. At this time, the pupils turned into light blue, with red eye sockets. 
The most obvious is that his upper body is covered with red hair. Behind him is a red tail, swinging flexibly. This, is this Super Saiyan 4. This power is really unbelievable, and it feels too strong. Vegeta spread out his palms and looked in shock. An incomparable terrifying force was constantly flowing away from his body. At this moment, he felt that his strength had reached its peak state. The form of Kakarot's Super Saiyan God is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. This point, he has been very sure. Continue to feel the power in your body. The shock on Vegeta's face had turned into excitement and ecstasy. I actually became Super Saiyan 4, and possessed such a powerful force. This was something he had never thought about before, and he didn't even dare to think that he could have such a powerful power. And all this is all with the help of Mr. Ron. After being shocked and excited, Vegeta quickly looked at Ron. Then he said gratefully, Thank you so much, Mr. Ron. If it wasn't for your help, I would definitely not be able to become Super Saiyan 4, and I might never even know that Saiyan still has this form. Vegeta is grateful from the heart. And every word he said was from the heart. If there is no Ron, maybe I will learn how to become a Super Saiyan God like Kakarot. But in that case, I always feel that I have been following Kakarot's ass. This feeling will make him very uncomfortable. But it's different now. Kakarot has taken the root of Super Saiyan God, and he completely runs counter to him. The evolution path of Super Saiyan was chosen. This kind of improvement not only allowed him to have a huge breakthrough in strength, but more importantly, it allowed his self-esteem to be maintained. Okay, don't be so excited. Super Saiyan 4 is indeed powerful, and you have indeed surpassed Super Saiyan God's son Goku, but I must tell you that Super Saiyan 4 is not the strongest form of Saiyan. As long as Son Goku surpasses Super Saiyan God in the next time, then he can still beat you. So you have to work harder to truly master the form of Super Saiyan 4, so that you can completely defeat Son Goku. Looking at the excited and grateful Vegeta, Ron said calmly. At this time, Vegeta's combat power has reached a terrifying level of 150 guy. I remember that Golden Frieza's fighting power should be 100, at that time Son Goku and Golden Frieza were equal in strength. In other words, Son Goku, who has just turned into Super Saiyan Blue, should have a strength of around 100 guy. That strength is not enough to be the opponent of Super 4 Vegeta. But if that guy works a little bit and even reaches full power form in Super Saiyan Blue color, the strength will definitely completely surpass Vegeta. Therefore, Vegeta must practice as soon as possible. It is best to master the form of the four full energy of Super Saiyan. In this way, even if Son Goku turns into the full power form of Super Saiyan Blue Color, he is completely sure to win. Yes, Mr. Ron's lesson is, I will definitely continue to work hard and practice desperately to live up to Mr. Ron's guidance. Vegeta stood up straight respectfully, the excitement and excitement on his face still did not dissipate. It has been 10 years, except for the first time I became Super Saiyan, I have never been so excited as I am now thinking that his current strength has surpassed Kakarot. It won't even take too long, I will defeat Kakarot in front of everyone, tell everyone that I am the strongest Saiyan, and I will be so excited. Seeing Vegeta's eyes full of sincerity and excitement, Ron really had a hard time imagining that this guy in front of him was that arrogant, self-important, and overconfident tragic tower. But everyone has changed. Vegeta has started to undergo a lot of changes in Dragon Ball. Otherwise, even if you see gods of destruction, you will definitely not be so humble. The reason why people change is because they have worries, fears and people they want to protect. That's why I'm afraid, I'm afraid, and I give up many of the things I valued the most before. Mr. Ron, I really want to know how strong you are. Even gods of destruction Beerus is not your opponent, so are you the most powerful existence in this universe? Vegeta asked curiously at this moment. In fact, he has always been very curious about this question. Because according to his understanding, and the introduction of King Kai and the others, Beerus, the bad god who destroys is the master of this universe, and he has the ability and right to create a universe in an instant. So it is no exaggeration to say that he is the most powerful god in this universe. But to the surprise of anyone, Ron beat Beerus. So logically, Ron should become the most powerful existence in this universe. You think too much. Ron smiled, shook his head, and continued. 
with the strength of me and Beerus, we can't even rank in the universe. I can give you a brief explanation. The guy next to Beerus called Wiss is actually an angel, and gods of destruction Beerus is his apprentice. And part of the reason why I became so powerful is Wiss. It's no exaggeration to say that I can't even beat Wiss with one hand. And in this universe, the most powerful is not only Wiss, there are more powerful existences above Wiss, they can also completely erase Wiss with one finger. Although Ron's tone was very flat. But after listening to it, Vegeta's face became extremely exciting. Go, just kidding. This world, seems to be different from what I know. He really couldn't imagine, and even couldn't believe what Ron said. There are such powerful humans in the world. In other words, Ron and Beerus are not really strong at all. Even Wiss, which can instantly kill Beerus and Ron, can be erased with one finger. So how powerful are those guys? Looking at it all the time, they are simply frogs at the bottom of a well. Before I met gods of destruction Beerus and Ron, I always thought that Kakarot was number one in the universe. But now it seems that their previous ideas were so naive and stupid. Kakarot's fighting power is not even comparable to one of his own fingers now. There are so many things in this world that you can't imagine. That's why I told you a long time ago, although Super Saiyan 4 is amazing, it doesn't deserve a place in this universe at all. If you want to know my strength, I can tell you clearly that even 10,000 of you will definitely not be my opponent. Ron's words were not exaggerating at all. Because even if Vegeta becomes Super Saiyan 4, he is not a dimensional existence with himself. His own strength has reached the level of the ditch. And Vegeta's strength has only reached Guy. The gap in this interval is simply unimaginable. Vegeta naturally didn't deny it either. Although the current self may be a little stronger than Super Saiyan God's Kakarot. But there's no comparison to Ron at all. But you don't have to be discouraged. Those guys I just mentioned, they are all the strengths that have been precipitated in the long river of history. Even the gods of destruction have lived for at least tens of millions of years, so if you are given such a long time, you will definitely surpass them. Ron patted Vegeta on the shoulder, smiled and said, Mr. Ron, then is there any way to improve quickly? Vegeta frowned and continued to ask. It looks like the moment when I turned into Super Saiyan. I seem to have entered another world. A world I didn't know at all before. And in this world, his own strength seems to be the bottom of the existence. This is something he absolutely does not allow. So he must practice desperately and work hard to become stronger. If I'm not wrong, Whis will definitely teach Son Goku Ultra Instinct. Ron rubbed his chin, talking to himself. Because in Dragon Ball Ultra, Whis taught Son Goku Ultra Instinct. If Son Goku has learned the free and easy skill, then even if Vegeta becomes Super Saiyan 4, it is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. To deal with Ultra Instinct, it is estimated that Vegeta can only do it by becoming a Super Subhuman 5. But there are no shortcuts in Super Saiyan 5, you have to work hard to practice. To reach that level, of course, you can also temporarily become Super Saiyan 5 by controlling your emotions. But this point, Vegeta probably can't do it. Ultra Instinct, what's that? Although Ron's voice was not loud, Vegeta could hear it clearly. Then he asked curiously. He had never heard of that name before. Ron turned his head and explained, Remember when I fought Beerus before? Although there is not much difference in strength between the two of us, even my strength is weaker than Beerus, but I can be accurate every time. Dodge all his attacks. Everyone would even think that I have eyes all over my body. Actually, at that time, I cast Ultra Instinct. To be honest, if there is no Ultra Instinct, I really can't win the battle with Beerus. Is that the Ultra Instinct? Vegeta said in shock. At that time, he and Kakarot felt very surprised. Because Ron didn't move his sight at all, no matter which direction Beerus came from, Ron could easily dodge it. At that time, I really thought that his whole body was covered with eyes, so he was able to avoid all flaws. It turns out that that ability is called Freedom Extreme Intention Power. That's right. Ultra Instinct can make the body's muscles spontaneously judge the danger and then avoid it before the human brain gives instructions. When the free and easy Kung Fu reaches a perfect level, a person's physical strength, speed and strength will be greatly improved. This is also the reason why I was able to defeat Beerus when my basic combat power was weaker than Beerus. Ron introduced without concealment. Gollum. 
Vegeta swallowed hard. There is such a terrifying ability in the world. Unexpectedly, before the human brain reacts, the body can spontaneously predict the danger and then make evasive actions. He had never thought of this kind of thing before. Looking at your appearance, you seem to be very interested in Ultra Instinct. Looking at Vegeta's squirming Adam's apple, Ron asked with a smile. Yes, Mr. Ron, I am really interested to hear that Ultra Instinct is so powerful. So Mr. Ron please guide. Vegeta immediately nodded very respectfully and said. I have now become Super Saiyan 4. If I can master Ultra Instinct on the basis of Super Saiyan IV, then my strength will definitely be greatly improved. And that guy Kakarot will definitely never be his counterpart again. It's okay for me to teach you. However, Ultra Instinct has very high requirements for practitioners Xinxing, and they must be able to concentrate on nothing else. And you have to let go of all your guards, if you can't do this, you won't be able to comprehend Ultra Instinct at all. On this point, to be honest, Sun Goku has an advantage over you, so he may comprehend Ultra Instinct faster than you. Ron nodded, and then told Vegeta the truth. The reason why Vegeta can't always surpass Sun Goku is because he is too defensive. When fighting, I will never use all 12 powers to fight, but choose to reserve one hand to deal with possible accidents. In this way, it will be impossible for Vegeta to use all his strength if he becomes a habit over time. It is precisely because of Vegeta's character that he has been lagging behind Son Goku. And in Dragon Ball Ultra, Vegeta can't master Ultra Instinct either. When he heard Ron say that Kakarot was easier to practice Ultra Instinct than himself, Vegeta's face obviously changed. But he quickly said, Mr. Ron, please guide me. If I really can't comprehend it, it can only be said to be a problem with my qualifications. But now I want to try it. It can be seen that Vegeta is really eager to comprehend Ultra Instinct at this time. Fine, in this case, I will guide you from now on, but if you can't understand, I can't help it. After saying a word, Ron began to teach Vegeta about some requirements of Ultra Instinct. At the same time, he also started sparring to train him. Because if you want to understand Ultra Instinct, then pair practice is an essential link. Time passed day by day. In the blink of an eye, more than four months have passed. Of course, Ron and Vegeta have only been in the spirit time room for two years. Although with the strength of the two of them, even if they want to stay there for 20 years, it is completely fine. But it's really not a place for people to stay in there. After staying in it for two years, Ron felt like he was going crazy. Eat some nasty food every day. And there are only two big men who pick their feet. However, in the past two years, while training Vegeta, Ron's own strength has also been greatly improved. Originally, his combat strength was only 7,000 ditch, but after two years of training in the spiritual time room, his strength has reached 8,500 ditch. That is to say, his current basic combat power is not weaker than that of Beerus. So if they fight next time, even if I don't use Ultra Instinct, I will definitely not be weaker than Beerus. Of course, during this period of time in the spiritual time house. Vegeta did not comprehend the Ultra Instinct. In fact, this is also expected by Ron, because Vegeta's character is really not suitable for the in itself. Naturally, Vegeta has no complaints about this. Because according to what Mr. Ron said, Ultra Instinct is comprehended by a person's comprehension ability. The most important thing is to look at a person's Xinxing. My Xinxing is not up to standard, even Mr. Ron can't help me. However, although he didn't comprehend Ultra Instinct, his strength has also improved tremendously in the next two years. Now the strength has been firmly consolidated in the form of Super Saiyan's four full energy. So he can guarantee that Kakarot will never be his opponent. And now he is looking forward to the battle with Kakarot more and more. This morning, Sijita delivered a very beautiful breakfast early in the morning. After all, Bulma's family is the richest man in Exidu. There are countless Michelin chefs at home. The breakfast was delicious. Especially for someone like Ron who's been in the spirit time room for two years. These breakfasts are nothing short of gourmet. Vegeta, you don't have to come in person to deliver breakfast like this in the future, do you? Anyway, you used to be King Vegeta's son, and now you are also the proprietress of the capsule company, so it seems inappropriate to do such a thing. Ron laughed and joked. 
After Vegeta trained himself, it felt like a completely different person. Especially for myself, I can't respect it. It is estimated that Vegeta has never respected his father as much as he has respected himself. But thinking about it, I made him a Super Saiyan 4. And it also helped him break through the form of Super Saiyan's 4 full energy. This kind of help is simply a grace of regeneration. Because if Son Goku becomes Super Saiyan God, even more powerful than Super Saiyan God, but he doesn't improve at all. That kind of humiliation and blow, Vegeta is absolutely unacceptable. Forehead. Being called by Ron the proprietress of the capsule company, Vegeta looked embarrassed. But it is undeniable. The capsule company is indeed managed by Bulma alone, without any help at all. It seems good to be able to mix up the name of the proprietress. Okay, it seems you have something to say, let's talk. Ron looked at Vegeta, enjoying a delicious breakfast, and then asked. Mr. Ron, these days, I've actually wanted to fight Kakarot head on. I can't wait to beat Kakarot. So Mr. Ron, can you find a way to help arrange this? Vegeta clenched his fists and said confidently with a firm face. The current self is absolutely sure of defeating Kakarot. No matter how strong he becomes, he is sure. HMPH, I knew you would have such an idea a long time ago. It is estimated that this idea has been in your heart since you left the spiritual time room. Okay, I'll talk to Whis in a few days, let you have a fair and just fight with Son Goku. Of course, this battle is not just about the two of you, you represent me. If I lose to Son Goku this time, I will never forgive you. Ron smiled at first, then said to Vegeta with a serious face. Seems like a contest between Son Goku and Vegeta. But in fact, Son Goku represents Beerus and Whis, while Vegeta represents himself. This contest was actually a contest between himself and Beerus. Hum, please rest assured, Mr. Ron. My current strength will never lose to Kakarot. Vegeta nodded, then smiled confidently and said. Your overconfident character really makes me hard to believe. I hope you will always remember, never underestimate the enemy, especially Son Goku. Ron taught seriously. You know Son Goku's guy is the first protagonist in Dragon Ball. No one knows what kind of power can erupt in a critical moment. Um, I remember. Vegeta nodded embarrassingly. Although he was very clear in his heart that Mr. Ron's guidance and teachings to him were absolutely correct, but he didn't take this sentence to heart. Because Kakarot's Super Saiyan God, how could it be his opponent in Super Saiyan 4? You must know that the transformation of Super Saiyan 4 is a very stable transformation form. It is fundamentally different from the previous Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3 transformations. After a huge consumption, it will directly exit the form of Super Saiyan. Even when injured, it will exit Super Saiyan form. But Super Saiyan 4 will not, unless it is really fatally injured. Otherwise, it will not exit the form of Super Saiyan 4 at all. To put it simply, after becoming Super Saiyan 4, there is not much difference from my normal state. And it won't consume too much when fighting. Based on this alone, he feels that Super Saiyan God is not comparable to Super Saiyan 4. So even if it is a protracted battle, Kakarot is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. However, before you fight Son Goku, maybe there is an old friend of yours who needs you to solve it. Ron spoke to Vegeta again. Because a few days ago, he felt a powerful aura that suddenly appeared in the universe. Although this aura is not as strong as Super Saiyan 4's Vegeta, it far surpasses Super Saiyan God's son Goku. This aura is very evil, if I am not mistaken, this aura should belong to Frieza. Because at this time stage, it is possible to have such a powerful aura, even surpassing the aura of Super Saiyan God Son Goku. That leaves Golden Frieza alone. Old friend. E. Who is that? Vegeta asked suspiciously. Do you have any old friends from before? Except for Kakarot, among the people I knew before, it is impossible for anyone to be my opponent. Even if Majin Buu is in front of his eyes, he has absolute confidence that he can kill him with one punch. So he couldn't think of any old friend who needed to solve it by himself. Frieza, Ron said the name lightly. And after hearing this name, Vegeta's face obviously instantly revealed a look of incomparable horror. Frieza, but soon the look of surprise turned into doubt, he shook his head and said, impossible. 
That guy Frieza was killed by Trunks more than 10 years ago, how could he be alive? This is absolutely impossible. There is no way Frieza is alive. He has been dead for 10 years. And his body was directly leaked by Trunks at that time. So Frieza is definitely dead and can't die anymore. There is absolutely no way he will be resurrected. It seems that you have forgotten the existence of the Dragon Ball. Although Frieza has been dead for a long time, as long as he finds his wreckage, and then uses the high technology of the Frieza Legion to restore his body, he can naturally be resurrected with the Dragon Ball. Looking at Vegeta, who looked puzzled and obviously disbelieving, Ron began to explain lightly. Dragon Ball. Just kidding, that guy actually came back to life. But even if he is resurrected now, it's useless. With his strength, I can easily kill him. So resurrection is actually not a good thing for him. Vegeta clenched his fist, then said coldly. In fact, the grievances between him and Frieza are really hard to describe. That guy not only destroyed their Vegeta planet, but also kept it hidden from him, telling him that Vegeta planet was destroyed by an asteroid impact. And let myself work under him for so many years. Thinking of that fool made his teeth itch with anger. If he was really resurrected, it would be a good thing for him. Because of this, I can get rid of him with my own hands. After the resurrection, Frieza became even stronger, and his strength far surpassed Super Saiyan God's son Goku. Why? So you'd better not underestimate the enemy too much. You have to always remember that whether it's the old Frieza or the current Frieza, he can destroy the earth in an instant without warning. I remember when I was in the Dragon Ball, because Begisui said too much, and then the earth was destroyed by Frieza. If it weren't for Wiss' ability to turn back time, all of them would have died. Well, I remember, Mr. Ron. Vegeta nodded. Then he clenched his fist tightly. That guy Frieza is back to life. What a time to resurrect. This time, I must ravage him well, and wash away the humiliation this guy once brought to me. Three days later, ten large universe spaceships appeared above the Earth. Afterwards, it continued to press down on the Earth without slowing down. Ho 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 ho. Finally revenge on Son Goku and that Saiyan. I have been waiting for this day for more than 10 years. Every day, every minute or even every second in hell, I want to crush them to death with my own hands. Soon, my dream wish will come true. Frieza sat in her pram, sipping a glass of red wine. A faint smile appeared on his face at first, and finally turned into a devilish smile. Click, the red wine glass in his hand shattered, and the red wine flowed down Frieza's fingers on the ground. That is, if the blood generally spread towards other places. And Frieza's whole body exudes a devil-like holy aura. The subordinates beside him dared not let out a terrified atmosphere. Because Frieza at this time is really too scary. In just four months, his strength has undergone earth-shaking changes. But at this moment on earth, Vegeta, who was training, froze suddenly. Then there was a look of incredulity in his eyes. Quote dot. Nani, this familiar breath. It's really Frieza, that fool really came back to life. Vegeta was stunned for a moment. Then the show also showed a ferocious smile. This guy Frieza actually came to Earth for revenge. It's amazing. Frieza, this time I will let you know how good Super Saiyan is. This time, promised, I will definitely trample you under my feet, and let you taste the humiliation. Vegeta clenched his fist, and then disappeared in a flash. At this time, Son Gohan and Piccolo also felt the breath of Frieza. While unbelievable, it also moved the direction of Frieza's breath at the fastest speed. Everyone is nervous, because the breath released by Frieza at this time is very powerful. And now Goku is not on Earth. What's more, each of them was tortured by Frieza on Namek. So for Frieza, there was a visceral sense of dread. And when they get there, Ron and Vegeta were already there waiting for Frieza. Seeing Ron's figure, everyone's tense hearts relaxed a little. Because as long as Ron is around, Frieza can't make any waves at all. You must know that even Gods of Destruction Beerus is not Ron's opponent, let alone a mere Frieza. Mr. Ron, Uncle Vegeta, is the breath just now from Frieza. I feel exactly the same as the Frieza breath I felt on Namek. But the aura I feel now seems to be much stronger than Frieza. Sun Gohan hurried up to Ron and Vegeta, and then asked. Yes, that deep fool smell of Frieza indeed. Vegeta nodded, then turned around and glanced at Piccolo and Klin, smiled and said, 
although I don't want to belittle you, but you can't help in such a battle, you should go back quickly. Quote. If it is the previous self, this will tell them mercilessly that they can go home and watch TV and drink milk. Because that guy Frieza, he can kill, all of them by himself. But I have lived with these people for too long, maybe my personality has also undergone some changes, right? Uncle Vegeta, please don't say that. Although I know your strength, it may have improved a lot. But this time there is a lot of breath around Frieza, which means that he is not alone, and we can help here more or less. Son Gohan spoke quickly. In fact, he didn't know how much Vegeta's strength had improved. Because in the recent period, it can be said that since the battle between Mr. Ron and Lord Beerus, he hasn't seen Uncle Vegeta very much. So how strong he has become now, I don't know. But I can also feel that Uncle Vegeta's temperament has changed a lot. It can be seen that his strength has greatly improved in the past few months. It's just that just now, what I felt was not just Frieza's breath. There are a few relatively strong chi among them. So when the time comes to fight, maybe they are not Frieza's opponents, and he can also help deal with others. Do as you please, but if you are killed in a while, don't expect me to save you. Vegeta folded his hands on his chest and said to Son Gohan. Minutes and seconds passed. Ten minutes passed. And a harsh buzzing sound also sounded from the sky. Everyone quickly raised their heads to take a look, and a huge dark cloud descended, covering the sky and covering the sun. After a closer look, it is completely recognizable that this spaceship is the spaceship of the Frieza army. Coming, everyone cheer up, it is estimated that it will be a difficult battle. Piccolo frowned, then pointed to Sun Gohan and Krillin and Master Roshi, they reminded. When Frieza and the others approached, they could feel that these guys were really strong. Even apart from the strongest Frieza, there are still a few more powerful auras. The chi of these guys is much stronger than the Ginyu special forces back then. Aha, both Sun Gohan and Kling nodded seriously. If it was Sun Gohan's peak period, he could transform into a mysterious form. Even Frieza in front of him, he is not afraid at all. But now, in the past few years, Sun Gohan has not practiced at all, and has been busy with academic problems. Therefore, not only did his strength not increase, but it dropped dramatically. Now she doesn't know if she can become Super Saiyan. In fact, Piccolo has said this more than once. In this crisis-ridden world where the strong are like clouds, strength is the only shortcut to protect yourself and your family. Although reading can achieve some achievements on Earth, if you want to deal with those powerful aliens. Reading is useless. Come on, Frieza. I can't wait to trample you under my feet so that you can see how powerful this prince is. Vegeta clenched his fist tightly, then said confidently and excitedly. To be honest, I have been waiting for this day for a very long time. Today I can finally avenge my shame. Return the humiliation that Frieza made to herself a hundred times back. Boom boom. Finally, the companion hums extremely harshly. Frieza's universe ship landed before everyone's eyes. Creak. There was a crisp sound, and the door of the universe spaceship was opened. Like locusts, members of the Frieza army stood in two rows on the left and right, and welcomed Frieza's grand appearance. I have to say that Frieza's way of playing is still full of style. Frieza is in her pram. The body floated directly in midair. Looking at Vegeta and Piccolo who suddenly appeared in front of them, there was a look of surprise on their faces. It seemed that these guys knew they would show up today. They were quite self-aware, and they ran over to die one by one on their own initiative. Ho ho, looks like they are all familiar faces. Long time no see, Vegeta, and that Namek man. Frieza smiled incomparably coldly. That smile is just like a devil. But Frieza flinched in pain when his eyes caught on to cling. There was an icy look on his face. Cackling. Gritting her teeth tightly, Frieza said in a cold tone, that little booger has come back to life. You must know that when I was in Namek, it was because of this little booger. Turn Son Goku straight into Super Saiyan, then beat himself to pieces. If it wasn't for this little booger, or if he didn't kill him. Son Goku may not be able to become Super Saiyan yet. You won't be so embarrassing yourself. So all of this has a lot to do with this little nose. It seems that after the last time he died, he was resurrected by using the Dragon Ball. But this time, I must completely destroy him, so that he can never be resurrected. 
Seeing Frieza's icy gaze, Keelan subconsciously stepped back. A look of incomparable fear appeared on his face. Maybe everyone has this visceral fear of Frieza. But Krillin's fear is definitely the strongest. Because I was killed twice by this guy. The first time he pierced his chest directly with the horn on top of his head. The second time was even more ruthless, directly crushing myself. So that kind of fear has already been deeply imprinted in the deepest part of my heart, and it is simply insurmountable. Hey Frieza, I didn't expect to see you for more than 10 years. You haven't changed at all. You're still sitting in your stroller like a baby. Tisk tisk tisk. It really makes me sympathize with you. Vegeta jumped up and appeared directly in front of Frieza, then mocked with a sneer. Now I am not afraid of Frieza at all. And in his own eyes, he was as weak as a little ant. You can pinch him to death anytime. I waited for this day, but I waited for more than 10 years. I even thought that I would never have such a chance. Cackling, you wild monkey, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know what happens when you talk to me like that? Hearing that Vegeta actually said that he is a small nose, and his height has not changed at all. Frieza immediately flew into a rage. What I hate the most is that others say I am short. In my Frieza army, there were several people who were directly killed by themselves because they said behind their backs that they were short. Vegeta should be very aware of his own taboos, but he dares to say that. It seems that this guy's strength has improved a bit, and then he has been a little too inflated. Oh, angry, shorty, but so what? Watching Frieza look angry, Vegeta continued to add fuel to the fire. Killing Frieza is very easy. But before killing him, he must humiliate this guy well. Only in this way can I feel the thrill of revenge. Vegeta, it seems that you have indeed bloated and forgotten your identity. Or, you have forgotten how powerful and terrifying I am. If that's the case, then I have to help you recall the memory. Frieza clenched her fists tightly, and from her scarlet pupils shot out a murderous look like a devil. Then he said to Sold behind him, if any one of you kills Vegeta, I can make you the second leader of the Frieza army. Know that you are very strong. Generally, when you don't need to do it yourself, you will definitely not do it yourself. The purpose of my visit this time is to kill Son Goku and the Saiyan who once killed me. For a small character like Vegeta, he didn't even need to make a move. After Frieza's voice fell, the members of the Frieza army who were like locusts immediately became excited. Then he rushed directly towards Vegeta. Kling and Son Gohan are also ready to fight. It's just that at this moment, the corner of Vegeta's mouth raised an evil arc. Then he clenched his fists and instantly transformed into Super Saiyan 2. Ultimate Flash. Vegeta has a different personality from Son Goku. He would not be interested in these low-level roles at all. Those who can be killed in seconds will never procrastinate. When the Frieza army reacted, it was already. Vegeta's ultimate flash formed a huge shock wave, instantly engulfing countless people. The figures are like candles in the wind, completely dissipating in the energy beam. Thousands of figures disappeared without a trace in an instant. Nani, Vegeta, a wild monkey, when can Tien become a Super Saiyan? Looking at Vegeta, whose whole body was glowing with golden light, Frieza's eyes flashed a look of surprise. In the past few years, I have been wrapped in heaven by that thing like a silkworm chrysalis, and I have suffered all kinds of torture and humiliation, and I don't know anything about the outside world. He didn't expect that even Vegeta turned into a Super Saiyan. Chapter 101 No wonder this guy is so rampant. But that's fine too. Vegeta turned into Super Saiyan, so before Son Goku and the Saiyan who killed himself appeared. I can play with Vegeta well, which can be regarded as a way to pass the time. Soon, Frieza's face became calm, although Vegeta's improvement surprised him. But with such strength, he is still half like a bug in front of him. Because after four months of training, their own strength has reached a level that they can't imagine. At this time, the remaining members of the Frieza army all showed panic expressions on their faces. Unexpectedly, they had so many companions, and more than half of them were killed by just a shock wave. Although the position of the second place in the Frieza army is very attractive. But you have to live to enjoy it. But obviously, if they rushed to fight Vegeta now, they would have no life to enjoy. A bunch of useless bugs. Frieza glanced at the Frieza army, which had already started to retreat, with a look of hatred in their eyes. 
Then the fingertips were raised, and scarlet rays of light shot out from the fingertips. Then a figure was directly shot through the chest, and then fell to the ground. It's like making dumplings. This kind of trash is simply not worthy of being a member of the Frieza army. Seeing Frieza so vicious, Solby on the side was naturally terrified. After finishing off all members of the Frieza army, Zaliza's body slowly floated in the midair. Then appeared in front of Vegeta. Vegeta, you really impress me. But soon I will let you know that the end of offending me is more miserable than you imagined. This time, I will make you disappear from this world forever, you wild monkey. Frieza's tone is very cold, and his expression is more like a ghost who escaped from hell. But Vegeta is not afraid at all, and doesn't even take Frieza seriously. Hurry up and become the ultimate form. Because with your strength, I can slap you into meatloaf with one slap. Vegeta clasped his arms around his chest again, and said to Frieza with a sneer on his face. Killing Frieza in the first form is no challenge for me at all. And there will be no joy. All right, since you have such a request, then I will fulfill you. Frieza nodded, then clenched his fists. A sharp roar came directly from his throat. Ya yeah, ya, yeah. along with the sharp roar, Frieza's aura also surged crazily. The whole valley trembled. Sun Gohan and Piccolo all of them were heartbroken. But Vegeta still had a calm face, with a look of disdain on his face. After a few minutes, Frieza directly transformed into the ultimate form. As you wish Vegeta, I have transformed into my ultimate form. Next, I will use this form to completely wipe you out. After becoming the ultimate form, Frieza spread his hands wildly, and then said confidently. But Ron could clearly see Frieza's fighting power. At this time, Frieza's combat power has reached about 5 billion. It has to be said that this guy's four months of cultivation has indeed improved a lot. After all, when Namek was fighting Son Goku, his combat power in his ultimate form was only 120 million. After becoming a mechanical Frieza, the strength is only 150 million. Now, through four months of training, he can increase the strength of the ultimate form to 5 billion. It's pretty good already. However, compared with Vegeta in the second form, there is still a very big gap. Because Vegeta's normal combat power has reached 4 billion. After becoming Super Saiyan 2, his strength has directly increased by 100 times, which is 400 billion fighting power. 80 times higher than the current Frieza, so this is a battle without any suspense. Die to me, you reckless wild monkey. Frieza roared, and with a flash of his body, he was in front of Vegeta in an instant. Then without any hesitation, he directly greeted Vegeta with a punch on the cheek. Snort, you're too slow, Lisa. Vegeta said something disdainfully. Then he stretched out his right hand and grabbed Frieza's fist tightly. At the moment when the fist was caught, Frieza's body couldn't move forward half a step. Nani. Then a terrified expression appeared on his face. I have become the ultimate form, and after I become the ultimate form now, it is completely different from ten years ago. Why is Vegeta able to easily block his own attack? And it looks so calm. Could it be that he underestimated Vegeta's strength? Has this guy become stronger than Son Goku? But it was too late for him to think and be surprised. Vegeta directly pulled his body back, and then he went up hard with his right knee. Boom. The moment the low crash sounded, Vegeta's knee hit Frieza's lower abdomen heavily. Wow. A mouthful of purple blood spurted out directly from his mouth and Frieza's body bent directly into a prawn. Bloody cracks visible to the naked eye began to appear in the eyeballs. No. Impossible. How could this wild monkey, Vegeta, have such terrifying power? Frieza held her belly tightly with both hands, and her eyes were even more unbelievable. When Frieza was still in an unbelievable state, Vegeta directly clenched his fists, and then hit Frieza's back heavily. Boom. Call out. Rumble. Three sounds of different strengths sounded almost simultaneously. At the moment Frieza's body was hit, it was as if the reason for the fall was the body, and an oblique straight line hit the ground directly. The moment it hit the ground, it directly smashed the ground into a huge sinkhole. Pieces of gravel spread out like bullets. Sun Gohan and Piccolo quickly evaded. If hit by these stones, they may be injured. I have to say, and his current fighting power is indeed too strong. It has completely surpassed Frieza. It seems that this time, they don't need to help at all, 
so Vegeta can completely solve Frieza and all of them by himself. Call out. Vegeta jumped and appeared in front of Frieza again. At this point Frieza was about to stand up. Vegeta stepped heavily on Frieza's face, and stepped Frieza back directly. What's wrong? Frieza, come to Earth for revenge, is this all your strength? Tisk 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 tisk. Vegeta stomped on Frieza's head fiercely, while mocking Frieza in a playful tone. He dreamed of having this day. I can trample Frieza under my feet severely, and regain the humiliation and lost dignity I have suffered before. I finally did it today. In front of him, Frieza didn't have any power to parry at all. Search, wild monkeys, I will never, never forgive you. This huge humiliation directly made Frieza roar angrily. His hands gripped the ground tightly. And at that moment, Frieza's aura began to surge crazily. Nani, Frieza, actually raised his aura. Didn't he in his ultimate form show all his strength? After feeling Frieza's aura rising rapidly, Vegeta showed a look of surprise on his face. As for Sun Gohan and Piccolo, the brows that had been stretched just now were wrinkled again. Apparently they didn't expect Frieza to be able to improve again. And at this time, his aura became very terrifying, and it almost grew explosively. You, wild monkey, absolutely unforgivable. A cold, murderous growl escaped Frieza's throat. Then the breath of the whole person exploded in an instant. A golden ray of light rose directly into the sky. And Vegeta's body was directly blown away. Rumble. The whole earth began to tremble violently. And the position where Frieza was just now has been completely shrouded in golden light. Are you kidding me? This fool strength has actually increased so much. Became stronger than Super Saiyan God's Kakarot in an instant. Vegeta's body appeared in midair, and he looked at the golden halo in astonishment as he talked. But think about it, three days ago, Mr. Ron told himself that Frieza was stronger than Super Saiyan God's Kakarot. Now it seems that Mr. Ron has a foresight, and it is not an exaggeration to say that he can predict the future. But the surprise is the surprise, no matter how much Frieza improves, it is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. It will make you feel more excited and excited. Sun Gohan and Piccolo who were not far away were directly thrown hundreds of feet away. Several people put their hands in front of themselves, their expressions became very dignified. That's amazing, is this the real strength of Frieza? It's ridiculously strong, even if it is Goku, there is no absolute certainty to defeat him. Heelan said with a hard face. What kind of training did this guy go through? It turned out to be so terrifying. Piccolo is also unbelievable. Frieza has become so strong with that guy. How on earth did he come back to life? As for Ron on the side, he folded his hands on his chest and looked at Frieza calmly. Although at this point Frieza did become a bit stronger. But in Ron's eyes, he was pitifully weak. And even Vegeta can easily defeat him. The golden light disappeared bit by bit. The whole ground also began to slowly restore calm. And Frieza's body gradually appeared in everyone's sight. Nani, golden. That guy turned into a golden form. Why have you never seen it before? Sun Gohan and Piccolo opened their mouths in surprise. At this time, their hearts were churning with turbulent waves. Since when did the Frieza guy have this mentality? And the breath is ridiculously strong. It is no exaggeration to say that Frieza can kill them all with one finger. It's so strong, standing at such a far place, you can feel the breath of death. Can Vegeta handle it? Keelan was so scared that his legs started to go weak. After all, Frieza had already planted the seeds of terror in his heart. At this time, Frieza burst out with such an astonishing aura, so he was the one who was most afraid. Is he going to die at the hands of Frieza again? It is estimated that it is very difficult, Vegeta's strongest form is only Super Saiyan 2. Even if it becomes Super Saiyan God like Goku, it is not necessarily Frieza's opponent. Unless Ron makes the first move, Piccolo shook his head, and said with a very serious face. Oh, it turned into gold, not bad. It looks like we can finally have a good fight. There was no trace of fear on Vegeta's face, but extremely excited. You must know that since she became Super Saiyan 4, she hasn't fought well at all. Although he trains with Mr. Ron all the time in the spiritual time, Mr. Ron's strength is simply beyond his reach. That kind of training doesn't make any sense. 
even more without a little bit of stimulation. In this case, kill Frieza first, then take on that Kakarot guy. At this moment, the golden light around Frieza's body has completely disappeared. The body has turned into rich gold. The corner of the mouth raised a cruel arc. Then he looked at Vegeta and said, I really didn't expect you to be able to take my form. Not bad, Vegeta, it seems that it was a wrong decision not to kill you before. Frieza opened her hands flat, looking like a king. Said to Vegeta arrogantly, clap clap, Vegeta clapped his hands. Then he sneered and said, it's really good, I didn't expect that even you can become so strong. But you think that you can become my opponent in this way, you are too overconfident, Frieza. If I didn't become Super Saiyan 4. At this time, Frieza was indeed extremely terrifying to him. No matter what, I can't be his counterpart. But the self who has become Super Saiyan 4 is not afraid of the current Frieza at all. He even has the absolute certainty to kill him. You are so stubborn when you are about to die, it seems that you are different from the Vegeta I used to know. But your stubbornness will only speed up your death and make your death more painful. Frieza was no longer angry at this point. Because he felt that it was unnecessary to be angry with a dead person. Is it? The corners of Vegeta's mouth are the same. Finally, I can show everyone my Super Saiyan 4 form. Call out. And just when Vegeta clenched his fist and was about to become Super Saiyan 4. Suddenly there was a sound of breaking through the air. Then, a ray of brilliant light appeared directly beside Sun Gohan and the others. Quote dot. Dad. Master Beerus, seeing three figures suddenly appear in front of him, Sun Gohan excitedly called for a doctor. That's right, the people who appeared just now are the three of them, Sun Goku Beerus and Whis. Because I felt the breath of Frieza and Vegeta before. Sun Goku was worried that something would happen to the earth, so he begged Whis to bring him to the earth. And Whis and Beerus will not refuse for the delicacies of the earth. Gohan, are you all right at home? Son Goku looked at Son Gohan and Piccolo, and then asked. We're fine. Son Gohan and the others shook their heads. Afterwards, Son Goku and Beerus all set their sights on Frieza and Vegeta. I didn't expect Frieza to become so strong. And there is a very powerful force hidden in Vegeta's body, and this force may not be weaker than my Super Saiyan blue color. Is this the result of Ron's training? Frieza's aura has been fully exposed so Son Goku can clearly feel the power of Frieza. Not at all weaker than the current self. And Vegeta also has a very terrifying power in his body. Maybe Vegeta's strength is not weaker than his own now. Unexpectedly, in just a few months, Ron could make Vegeta so powerful. Kakarot, Beerus, Vegeta frowned slightly. But then his face returned to calm. It's good that they come. Just in time to show them his Super Saiyan 4 form. See how you destroyed Frieza. Son Goku. The moment he saw Son Goku appear, Frieza's originally calm eyes suddenly burst into monstrous anger. Gods of destruction Beerus. But when he saw Beerus, there was a lot of fear in his eyes. Although he has now turned into a golden form, he can easily kill Son Goku and Vegeta. But I can never be the opponent of gods of destruction Beerus. Is he suddenly appearing on this earth now to prevent himself from taking revenge? Oh, that guy really is Frieza. I didn't expect that he not only successfully resurrected, but also possessed such a strong power. That guy's power should not be weaker than Goku's at all, right? Beerus glanced at Frieza in golden form, and then a little surprise appeared on his face. Because of the previous Frieza, I don't think much of him at all. I didn't expect this guy to be so strong. Most importantly, hadn't he been killed before? Why did it suddenly come back to life? But forget it, whether this kind of guy is dead or alive, it has nothing to do with this gods of destruction. And as gods of destruction, I will never pay attention to such insignificant things. Indeed, Lord Beerus, although I don't know what happened, but the current Frieza's strength is indeed very strong, and he already has a strength that is not weaker than Goku. And Vegeta on the other side seems to be very confident. It seems that during the period of training with Ron, Vegeta's strength has also been greatly improved. Whis on the side nodded and said, Vegeta, but I can't feel any god in his body, Che. He can't be Son Goku's opponent at all. It seems that I am a bit too overestimating Ron's training ability. After taking a look at Vegeta, he didn't feel any divine breath from his body. Beerus pouted at who dismissed it. 
If Vegeta hadn't become a Super Saiyan God, he wouldn't be Son Goku's opponent anyway. He was very sure of this. Perhaps it is. Vegeta's body does not have any divine breath. I don't know what method Ron used to train him. Whis also nodded. Logically speaking, Vegeta's body does not have the breath of God, which means that it is impossible to be Goku's opponent. But he felt very strange again. Ron had been training Vegeta for four full months after all. Couldn't even Vegeta's Super Saiyan God reach it? Or maybe he pointed out other training methods to Vegeta. This is also very possible. Master Beerus, Whis, Vegeta is definitely not as simple as it seems on the surface. I could feel something in his body that turned me on. So in the past few months, Vegeta has definitely become stronger, and he has become very strong. While Beerus was talking to Whis, Son Goku on the side suddenly spoke seriously. Although I really can't accurately feel Vegeta's strength. And there is indeed no breath of God in Vegeta's body. However, I have known Vegeta for so many years, so I still know him very well. It can even be said that it has reached a certain state of spiritual connection. Vegeta has indeed become stronger, this is absolutely undeniable. Oh, is it so? Even if you become stronger, so what, you must never lose the battle with Vegeta, you know. Beerus said to Son Goku coldly. You must know that this battle is not just a battle between the two of them. It's more about his own face. If he lost to Vegeta, it would be equivalent to losing to Ron again. This is something I absolutely do not allow. And this time on the other side. Frieza looked at Beerus anxiously and asked, Master Beerus, you came to Earth today to prevent me from taking revenge on Son Goku and the others, right? I must figure out Beerus's position as soon as possible. If he really wanted to help Son Goku. So no matter how angry I am today, I must never take revenge on Son Goku. Because in front of Beerus, no matter how strong you become, it is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. Although he is usually arrogant and confident, he still has this self-knowledge. Cut, I'm the gods of destruction, so I won't take care of your silly things. Beerus pouted, and said to Frieza in a nonchalant tone. After getting Beerus's answer, the pressure in Frieza's heart also disappeared. As long as Beerus doesn't help, there is 100% sure to kill Son Goku and Vegeta completely. Comma. At this time, Ron's body flashed, and he was directly in front of Beerus and Whis. Yo Master Beerus, are you still mad at me? Ron asked with a smile. Beerus raised his head arrogantly and ignored Ron. This guy didn't apologize to himself with delicious food for a day, and I will never forgive him. Looking at the extremely arrogant Beerus, Ron didn't continue talking to him. It could be seen that Beerus didn't seem that angry. Otherwise, it wouldn't be such a proud expression. BCCI, Wiss, how are you doing these days? Then, Ron looked at Wiss and asked. Well, it's pretty good. The food on the earth is very delicious, and I will come to the earth every few days. Wiss nodded with a smile. That's good. And this time on the other side. Vegeta finally set his sights on Son Goku. Then he sneered and said, Kakarot, you are late, Frieza is my prey now, I will never let you go this time. No matter what you do, Kakarot takes the lead every time. This time, I will never follow him again. I must let them take a good look at how powerful Super Saiyan 4 is. Ah, whatever, Vegeta. It just so happens that I can also see how far your current strength has improved. Son Goku didn't argue this time, but nodded calmly. Frieza on the opposite side is very powerful. It just so happens that I can also see how far Vegeta has improved. Because it won't be long, there will definitely be a battle between myself and Vegeta. Now we can take a good look at Vegeta's strength. Hey, wild monkey, you don't take me too seriously, do you? Hearing that Vegeta wanted to deal with him alone, Frieza suddenly felt humiliated. Now he has become a golden form. Even if the two of them go up together, he can kill them all in minutes. But if they want to seek death one by one, I can satisfy them. Soon I'll shut your stinky mouth once again, Frieza. After Vegeta finished speaking, the sneer on his face disappeared. Then Shuangquan suddenly shook hands. Terrifying golden flames erupted from his body instantly. Ha ha, a roar resounded between heaven and earth. The moment Vegeta transformed, the whole world began to change color. The earth began to shake violently. An incomparably terrifying aura spread in all directions. 
a wave of lack of air shaved out in all directions like profit. Keelan and Sun Gohan were very knowledgeable and hid directly behind Beerus and Wiss. This terrifying air wave could blow them away at any time. Even killed them. That's, so powerful. Is this the result of Vegeta's cultivation? Sun Goku looked at Vegeta in surprise. It's unbelievable. In the past few months, Vegeta had such a huge breakthrough. Although there is no breath of God in his body at this time. But the anger he erupted was no weaker than his own. Is this the result of practicing with Ron? Nani, Vegeta's guy can improve to this level. Are you kidding me? There is no breath of God in the body, but it can become so strong. Even Beerus on the side was incomparably shocked, with an unbelievable look in his eyes. As for Sun Gohan and Piccolo, they no longer know what words to use to describe the shock in their hearts. Originally thought that Vegeta's strength was still at the level of Super Saiyan 2. But now it seems that it is not the same thing at all. Vegeta's strength has undergone a qualitative change. And raised to levels they could hardly imagine. Ron, I really have you. It didn't make Vegeta a Super Saiyan God, but it made him so powerful. You didn't make Vegeta a Super Saiyan God on purpose, did you? Because you know very well that Son Goku will definitely follow the Super Saiyan God route, so you want Vegeta to defeat Son Goku in other ways, is that right? After feeling the powerful energy in Vegeta's body, Whis looked at Ron and asked. Just guessing, you can never be wrong. Since Ron wants Son Goku to fight Vegeta. Then it wouldn't be the case Vegeta chose the same lifting method as Son Goku. Forge a new path, then have Vegeta defeat Son Goku. This kind of victory is the most fulfilling. Ha! Huh. Actually, this is not exactly what I mean, it is also Vegeta's own choice. He said that he would rather participate in future battles as a Saiyan, and leave the godly route to Son Goku. He chose the evolutionary route of Saiyan's bloodline. Ron smiled and replied to Whis. In fact, if Vegeta wanted to choose the Super Saiyan God route at that time, he would not stop him. But in that case, it will not be so easy to defeat Son Goku. Even under my own guidance, it is estimated to be 50 to 50 at most. But if he mastered the power of Super Saiyan 4, it would be much easier for him to defeat Son Goku. After all, both Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan God are very stable transformations. But Super Saiyan Blue color is different. The color of Super Saiyan Blue is the same as that of Super Saiyan 3, which consumes a lot of energy. This kind of transformation belongs to the sudden burst of powerful energy, but the battle must be resolved quickly. Because Super Saiyan Blue consumes a lot of energy, once he fails to defeat his opponent within the specified time, then his situation will be quite bad. Is it the root of bloodline evolution? Such a choice is indeed more in line with Vegeta's character. It's really exciting, what will Vegeta look like next, what kind of performance will he have? Son Goku clenched his fists tightly, with anticipation and excitement on his face. He can't wait to see the transformed Vegeta. After the bloodline is purchased, what will Vegeta look like? As for Frieza, who is opposite Vegeta, his complexion has become as ugly as a pig's liver. He really did not expect that Vegeta would have such a powerful power. From this point of view, it is really not a simple matter for him to solve this guy. Ha! Accompanied by the last roar. The golden light around Vegeta's body instantly turned into a golden beam, piercing the sky. The dark clouds above the head were instantly pierced by golden light. Dozens of miles around are directly rendered golden yellow. Russell, the golden gaseous flames continuously lingered around the body, and the striking air swished. At this time, Vegeta's brand new appearance was clearly presented in front of everyone. What, is this Vegeta's new form? Everyone looked at Vegeta in surprise. There was an unparalleled look of horror in his eyes. Because Vegeta at this time is completely different from before, it can be said that a huge change has taken place. You must know that after Son Goku became Super Saiyan, only the color of his hair has changed a lot, but his body has not changed much. But Vegeta at this time is completely different. Vegeta's upper body is covered with red body bags, and the whole person looks more imposing. The head hole turned blue, and the red eye sockets looked a bit evil, but they were extremely firm. What's more obvious is that the red tail behind Vegeta is swinging flexibly. Are you kidding me? That's Saiyan's transformation too. Seeing Vegeta's new form, even Beerus on the side was shocked. 
These guys are really developing towards monkeys step by step. Hoo hoo. What an amazing transformation. I'm so surprised. Wiss also looked at Super 4 Vegeta in surprise. He had never seen or heard of this kind of transformation before. Grunt. Unbelievable. Unbelievably strong. Son Goku swallowed hard. He was almost certain now that Vegeta's strength had surpassed his own. Even if he fights Vegeta now, he has absolutely no certainty that he can defeat him. Amazing. When did Uncle Vegeta master such a powerful transformation? I feel his aura is like a vast universe, completely boundless. Son Gohan looked dull at this moment. And Piccolo and Kilin beside him also had the same expression. I want this though before Son Goku became Super Saiyan God. But they are just mortals, and they cannot feel the next day breath of Super Saiyan God. But at this moment, they could clearly feel Vegeta's breath. It was overwhelming, filling the entire earth in an instant. It was definitely the first time in their life that they felt this powerful and boundless aura. It seems that Vegeta should have found Ron for special training during these few months. Otherwise, there will never be such a big improvement. The clever Piccolo immediately knew the problem. If Vegeta practiced alone without Ron's guidance, it is estimated that if he is given another few decades, he will not be able to reach this level. Feeling the shocking gazes around him, Vegeta enjoyed it very much. To be honest, since Son Goku appeared, I have never enjoyed such a gaze. I have to say, this feeling is really great. The feeling under the spotlight is always so fascinating, even hard to extricate yourself. Although Frieza couldn't feel Vegeta's breath, but it can be seen from Son Goku and Beerus's shocking connection. At this time, Vegeta has definitely become very powerful. But why? The wild monkey in my eyes is just a Saiyan. To actually reach this level, this was something that I absolutely couldn't believe before. If I had known that there were so many things today, I should have killed Vegeta completely when destroying the Vegeta planet. Yo Vegeta, you've become too powerful now, haven't you? I really didn't expect you to have such a huge improvement in four months. After a brief shock, Son Goku said to Vegeta with a smile. Vegeta can become so strong, in fact, Son Goku is also happy for him from the bottom of his heart. Because all along, he felt that Vegeta's cultivation was harder than his own. Kakarot, I hope that when we fight, you won't let me down too much. By the way, I didn't choose to be a Super Saiyan God like you. I will continue to fight and evolve as Saiyan, and I will completely defeat you and become the strongest Saiyan. By the way, Dot in my current form is called Super Saiyan 4. Vegeta clenched his fist and said to Son Goku, Super Saiyan 4, first time hearing. However, I'm also looking forward to the fight between us. Son Goku was stunned for a moment, and then said excitedly, If Vegeta's strength is not strong, I really have no interest in fighting Vegeta. But now Vegeta has become so powerful. He is even stronger than himself, so his fighting blood has been completely awakened at this time. Super Saiyan 4, have you heard of this transformation before? Wiss. Beerus looked at Wiss, then asked. I definitely haven't heard of it. Because I didn't even know about Super Saiyan God before I had a prophetic dream. I don't know either, Lord Beerus. You know, I don't have much research on Saiyans. Wiss shook his head and answered. Although Beerus wanted to ask Ron on the side, what happened to Super Saiyan 4? Why didn't he become a god, but possessed more powerful power than ordinary gods? But I didn't talk to this guy just now, if I take the initiative to talk to him now, it will more or less make me feel that my compulsion has dropped a bit. So forget it, anyway, one day I will figure it out. And this time on the other side. After becoming Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta said to Frieza in a cold tone, Today, I will pay back all the humiliation and deception you have done to me before. So brace yourself, Frieza. After finishing speaking, he clenched his fist tightly. No matter what today, Frieza will have no choice but to die. Even if the heavenly king Lao Tzu came, it would not be able to change the ending. After the idiot destroyed his own planet, he cheated and enslaved himself for 20 years. So absolutely unforgivable. Oh, it seems that the increase in strength has made you inflated a bit too much, Vegeta. Don't think that you are qualified to be my opponent just because you turned into a gorilla. Don't forget, you are originally wild monkeys, so no matter what you become, you will never be the opponent of my current form. 
After a brief surprise, a cold smile appeared on Frieza's face again. A wild monkey is always a wild monkey. Absolutely no match for Golden Frieza. Then try it. Vegeta just smiled indifferently. Because now he doesn't regard Frieza as an opponent at all, so any words of his can't arouse half of his anger. Only when the kind of difficult opponent satirizes, the group will make people feel angry. If you are absolutely sure, there is no need to be angry at all. Because being angry with a dead person is the most unworthy thing. Vegeta, I have to say that you really annoy me more and more. There should be a limit to getting carried away. Now I will let you go to heaven to experience that feeling. The moment Frieza's ice-cold roar fell, his body jumped out. In an instant, he was in front of Vegeta. Then he punched out directly. But this punch, he didn't show all his strength. Because in his opinion, no matter what Vegeta turns into, it is absolutely impossible for him to be the opponent of his golden form. He was convinced of this. So fast, the Frieza guy's promotion is horrible. Son Goku looked at the fleeting Frieza with surprise on his face again. If you let yourself deal with this kind of attack, although you can catch it, it is definitely not that easy. But Vegeta had a calm face, looking extremely relaxed. Just when the fist was about to remember Vegeta, Vegeta grabbed Frieza's fist. Still so calm and breezy, still so understatement. You must know that Vegeta's strength has reached 150. And Frieza's strength is only about 100 guy. In other words, the strength gap between the two of them has exceeded 30%. This was originally a battle without any suspense. If Vegeta fights with all his strength, he can defeat Frieza in a devastating manner. Oh, after turning into this ghostly appearance, your strength doesn't seem to have improved much, Frieza. It's a shame you said that shameless big talk just now. Vegeta smiled playfully, looked at Frieza and mocked. You wild monkey, stop being so self-righteous. After his own attack was followed, Frieza's expression became serious while he was surprised. After Vegeta became like this, his strength seems to be much stronger than he imagined. He was able to take his own attack lightly, which means that this guy's strength is not weaker than his own. But before he had time to think about it, Frieza slammed his left knee against Vegeta's chest again. You're too slow, Frieza. Vegeta smiled coldly again. Then the right fist came out like lightning, reaching Frieza's chest in an instant. Boom, a muffled crash sounded, and it was obvious that Vegeta was going faster. Before Frieza's knee touched Vegeta's body, he was hit in the chest by a punch, and his body flew upside down. Rumble, in an instant, it directly smashed four or five mountain peaks, drawing a long scratch on the ground before stopping. There was even a smear of blood at the corner of his mouth. Vegeta's group just now was very powerful, so even Frieza felt that his internal organs were a little displaced at this time. Okay, so amazing. Vegeta's speed is too fast, and his power is completely above Frieza. If that's the case, Frieza has no chance of winning at all. Son Goku commented in surprise from the side. There is no doubt that the current Vegeta's strength has definitely surpassed his own. If you want to defeat him, it will definitely not be an easy task. Ah, the great pain and humiliation made Frieza roar wildly. He never thought he would be so humiliated by Vegeta. Because from beginning to end, he never regarded Vegeta as his opponent. He is just a dog beside him, and he has no qualifications to let him look at him directly. But today, this guy actually has such a powerful force. After he became the golden form, he was still no match for him. Then in great anger, Frieza directly stretched out two index fingers, and then two bright red beams shot towards Vegeta. Afterwards, one after another at the speed of light fell towards Vegeta like a meteor shower. Boom boom boom. Energy beams continued to explode violently around Vegeta's body. The billowing smoke from the explosion instantly swallowed Vegeta's body completely. You wild monkey who doesn't know how to live or die, this is what you will get if you offend me. Go to hell now. Seeing Vegeta without any dodge, he was instantly swallowed by the explosion wave generated by his own energy at the speed of light. Frieza let out a sharp roar, raised his index finger lightly, and a golden energy ball instantly condensed from the fingertips. It can be seen that Frieza's move is exactly the same as when he destroyed planet Vegeta. Without any hesitation, the energy ball was thrown directly towards Vegeta's position. Rumble, the energy ball exploded instantly. 
gorgeous fireworks appeared all over the sky. And Frieza finally smiled happily. In the terrifying explosion just now, no matter how powerful Vegeta was, it was absolutely impossible for him to remain unscathed. On the other hand, Ron and Son Goku, without any change in their expressions, looked calmly at Vegeta who was swallowed by the shock wave. Because they can feel that there is no change in the breath of the airport. So it shows that although Frieza's energy just now was powerful, it didn't have any impact on Vegeta. Sure enough, wait for the thick smoke to disappear little by little. Vegeta's figure once again appeared in everyone's sight. As Ron and Son Goku felt, Vegeta was unscathed. There was still a bloodthirsty curve in the corner of his mouth. Gently patting the dust off his chest, Vegeta grinned. Is this your power, Frieza? Look if several months of practice have completely distanced us. Since your construction period is over, then replace me next. Accompanied by a cold voice and a bloodthirsty smile. Vegeta's body flashed suddenly, like lightning. Without any warning, it appeared in front of Frieza. Then he punched Frieza hard in the stomach. Boom. Wow. At the same time that a mouthful of blood spewed out from the mouth, Frieza's body flew out again. And Vegeta obviously didn't want to waste any more time this time, but wanted to get rid of Frieza quickly. So the body follows suit. Bang bang bang. A heavy blow was directed at every vital part of Frieza. Blood kept dripping from the corner of Frieza's mouth. At this time, he looked very embarrassed, not only did he not have any power to fight back, he didn't even have the power to parry. On the contrary, every punch and every kick of Vegeta is powerful and heavy. After launching dozens of attacks directly one after another, Frieza's body finally knelt down in front of Vegeta. Although he was very unwilling to accept such a humiliating moment. But there is no way, at this time he has no extra energy to stand up. Vegeta's attack just now is so deadly every time. What's more terrible is that I have only mastered the golden form for a few days, and I am not fully proficient in this form. Therefore, it consumes quite a lot of energy, and its stamina is not good. Son Goku and Son Gohan opened their mouths in surprise. Unexpectedly, Frieza, who is so powerful and terrifying, would be so vulnerable in front of Vegeta, and he was extremely embarrassed. Search, search. Dot how could this happen? I would lose to Vegeta, what a joke. Frieza scratched directly at the gravel on the ground. There was an expression of incomparable pain on his face. It was indeed a great humiliation for him to be defeated by Vegeta. But the fact is like this, I have no chance of winning. If this is the case, let everyone on the entire earth be buried with themselves. Although the result is a bit unsatisfactory. But at least, I have succeeded in revenge. Frieza hammered the ground hard. Seeing this scene, Ron frowned slightly. Because he knew what Frieza was planning at this time. Frieza knew very well in his heart that no matter what, he was no match for Vegeta. So now the only way he can go, the only way for him to succeed in revenge is to completely destroy the earth. Then let everyone die together. Whether they are earthlings or Saiyans, they cannot survive in the universe. But he is different, he can survive in the universe completely. If he was not killed in the blast wave on the earth, then there is still a chance of survival. Ron had warned Vegeta before that he couldn't be careless. I hope that guy really remembers it, otherwise, he may need to do it himself. In any case, I will not let the earth explode. Go to hell, Frieza. Don't resurrect again, because no matter how many times you resurrect, you will be killed by me. Looking at the angry Frieza, Vegeta didn't hesitate at all. He was not given a second chance to punch, and a ball of energy condensed from his heart in an instant. Then blasted directly at Frieza. Ah, with heart-piercing screams, Frieza's body was instantly swallowed by the energy wave. Then, like a candle in the wind, a little bit of twelve began to dissipate. It's just how unwilling he is, but how angry is he? It is estimated that only his heart is clear. Finally, I stayed in that kind of humiliated paradise for more than ten years before I was resurrected, and I worked hard for four months. Unexpectedly, in only ten minutes, he was wounded to death by Vegeta. This kind of blow is undoubtedly huge for him. But the rapidly fading consciousness has made him unable to think so much. In the blink of an eye, Frieza's body had completely disappeared. And his aura has completely disappeared from this world. The Emperor of the Universe, Frieza in golden form, was once again easily slain. 
Ha, huh, this guy Vegeta is really merciless. Originally, I wanted to fight Frieza. Son Goku looked at Frieza who was completely destroyed in the blink of an eye, and said with some regret. I have always been inexplicably excited after seeing a master. And the Frieza who has turned into that golden form is indeed very powerful. And it also makes me feel excited. It is indeed a pity not to fight against him. But this is also in line with Vegeta's character. Besides, the hatred between him and Frieza has been around for a long time. This hatred and hatred is beyond my own experience and comprehension. Vegeta is a neat guy. Speaking of which, I quite admire his character. Gods of Destruction Beerus glanced at Vegeta, then said calmly. This guy's style of doing things is somewhat similar to Gods of Destruction. Never sloppy. At this point, I don't like Son Goku a little bit. No matter who he is fighting with, this guy always likes to make some indifferent temptations. If it was Son Goku who fought Frieza today, then even he has the same strength as Vegeta. It is estimated that it is impossible to solve Frieza so easily. That's right, Lord Beerus. Of the three of them, Vegeta's character is the most similar to Master Beerus. Whis also nodded and said, Although Ron's strength is much stronger than both Son Goku and Vegeta, it has even surpassed Master Beerus. Logically speaking, he is more suitable to be gods of destruction. But Ron's character is not as decisive as Vegeta's. As for Son Goku, it's even more muddled. After easily killing Frieza, Vegeta flashed his body and appeared directly at Ron and Son Goku. At this time, he still had a bit of excitement on his face. Although I have long known that my strength surpasses Frieza. But being able to kill this guy still made him feel very happy. Vegeta, you have grown too powerful. I didn't expect that you were still the strength of Super Saiyan 2 four months ago, and you could become so powerful in such a short period of time. At this time, Son Goku walked up to Vegeta and said with a smile while licking his face. And it could be seen that there was a bit of envy on Son Goku's face. You must know that four months ago, I was able to become a Super Saiyan God. But after such a long time, I have only reached the level of Super Saiyan Blue Color. But Vegeta has strength beyond himself. It has to be said that Vegeta's talent is indeed very strong. Of course, what cannot be ignored is that Ron's guidance is more useful. Without Ron's guidance, it would be impossible for Vegeta to reach this level. Because he didn't know Saiyan's form at all. Of course, Kakarot. I am the Prince of Saiyan, and I already possess stronger talents than you. Now I surpass you, isn't this a normal thing? Seeing Son Goku's slightly envious eyes, Vegeta naturally enjoyed it very much, and then said proudly. Ever since I met Kakarot, I have always been surpassed by him. That feeling is very, very aggrieved, and no one can experience that feeling at all. But today, I finally feel proud. And in the future, I will be above Kakarot. Never give him another chance to surpass himself. Ah, that's right, your current strength makes me feel very excited. I don't know when we can compete. Son Goku clenched his fists and said excitedly. Because in the recent period of time, I have never encountered any real opponents at all. Master Wiss and Beerus are too strong, when fighting with him, they will not even use 10% of their strength. So there is no fun in fighting at all. But now, although Vegeta's strength is stronger than his own, it's not much stronger. So Vegeta is definitely the best candidate. Although I have always wanted to fight with you, I have to tell you clearly that you are absolutely impossible to be my opponent now, Kakarot. The corners of Vegeta's mouth were the same, and then he said to Son Goku with a sneer. After hearing this, Beerus on the side obviously looked a little unhappy. Then he said coldly, don't get carried away, Vegeta. Do you want to be destroyed by me? This guy Vegeta, a month ago in front of him, was still respectful. I didn't expect that after a slight increase in strength, I started to feel so frightened. As soon as Beerus spoke, Vegeta had no choice but to stop talking. Although I can be unscrupulous in front of Frieza and Son Goku, I don't need to put them in the eyes. But Beerus can't, because I know very well that Beerus is powerful. Even if he becomes Super Saiyan 4, he also has the ability to completely disappear in an instant. Ron, since Vegeta is your apprentice, let Vegeta have a match with Son Goku. I really want to see if Son Goku trained by me and Wiss is stronger, or Vegeta trained by you is stronger. Beerus finally couldn't help but said. 
This game is unavoidable. No problem. But judging from the current situation, the situation should be very clear, right? Although Sun Goku's strength is very strong, I think you are also very clear that Sun Goku can't be Vegeta's opponent at all. Ron shrugged indifferently, then said to Beerus. To know that Sun Goku in Super Saiyan Blue Color is no different from Frieza in strength. Since Vegeta can easily defeat Frieza, he can also easily defeat Sun Goku. If the two of them were to fight now, it would be a battle without any suspense. Cut. Beerus raised an eyebrow. Then he said. Don't be too self-righteous, do you think Sun Goku only has this strength? Five days later, the game is played on Earth. When the time comes, you will know that no matter how strong Vegeta becomes, he will never be Sun Goku's opponent. In fact, Beerus just didn't want to put his momentum at a disadvantage. Now Sun Goku is weaker than Vegeta, this is an undeniable fact. The reason why I said five days later. It is because he hopes to take advantage of these five days to bridge the gap between Sun Goku and Vegeta. Hearing this, Vegeta was naturally unconvinced. Because his current strength is far stronger than Kakarot's. For five days, I didn't believe how far he could improve. It's just that he didn't dare to refute what Beerus said. That guy was a real gods of destruction, and if he wasn't careful, he might actually destroy himself. Although I am very strong as Super Saiyan IV, I don't think I can be an opponent of gods of destruction. Five days, okay, then we will give you five days. But five days later, Son Goku is still no match for Vegeta. Ron said confidently, maybe Son Goku will improve a lot in five days. But will Vegeta stay where he is? Obviously impossible. Don't speak too soon. Beerus looked at Ron with a puffy look on his face. After that, he didn't care about enjoying the delicious food on the earth, and directly took Son Goku and Whis back to the gods of destruction mentality. Mr. Ron, don't worry. I can definitely defeat Kakarot. Vegeta said to Ron very confidently. He can't believe how much Kakarot can improve in five days. Don't be careless. That guy Whis is angel, he has a lot of tricks. So in these five days, you still have to work hard to cultivate. It's better to go to the spiritual time room again, which will be more secure. Ron looked at the confident Vegeta and said, Confidence is a good thing. But sometimes being too confident can hurt yourself. It's not unreasonable for a proud soldier to be defeated. And Piccolo and Son Gohan are still in shock. The first was the shock of Vegeta becoming Super Saiyan 4. And now Son Goku and Vegeta actually want to compete, although Vegeta has always wanted to compete with Son Goku. But Son Goku never seemed to take it seriously. There was never a time when he used his full strength to fight Vegeta. Even after Vegeta was controlled by the magician Baffity, Son Goku did not use his full strength to fight Vegeta. It seems that this time, the ultimate contest between the two is finally about to begin. And listen to their tone, so his power seems to have surpassed Goku now. I don't know what will happen five days later. But surprise is surprise, shock is shock. But at this time they can't ask what is going on. Because this matter is obviously not a matter between Son Goku and Vegeta, it may be another contest between Ron and Beerus. After returning to Western Capital, Ron took Vegeta into the spiritual time room again. Vegeta, there is a good chance that Son Goku will master the Ultra Instinct this time. If he really has the Ultra Instinct, then your chances of defeating him will be very slim. So next I will instruct you in another ability. This ability can directly jump time to attack, although the jump time is very short. But when the strength reaches your level, even 0.01 seconds can be the key to victory. In the spiritual time room, Ron said to Vegeta very seriously. Although Ultra Instinct is not so easy to master the realm. But by coincidence, Son Goku fits the mentality of being free and easy to practice. Don't be afraid of 10,000, just in case. So I am going to teach Vegeta the flash time skills. This kind of ability is not a big deal to me, it is something that the system rewards in the first place. The ability to jump time. After hearing Ron's words, Vegeta showed a look of horror on his face, but soon, that horror turned into ecstasy. When you fought gods of destruction Beerus before, Kakarot and Piccolo said that for a period of time they were completely unable to perceive your divine power. Could it be that during that time, it was the ability to jump time? Vegeta asked quickly. At that time, I heard clearly, Kakarot and Piccolo said so. 
because I couldn't feel the breath of God at that time. But Kakarot and Piccolo are fine. If he can master the ability to jump time, then his strength will definitely have another major breakthrough. Well, it does. This ability is called Flash Time Power. At present, I can only jump for 0.1 second, because I never thought about cultivating this ability properly. Ron nodded, then opened his mouth to answer. If in the past nine years, I have practiced and comprehended the flash time skill. Then the time I can jump is definitely more than 0.1 seconds, and I will definitely be stronger. But because he was eager to improve his own strength, he didn't have time to practice the flash time skill. 0.1 seconds. Vegeta was shocked again, although it sounds like 0.1 seconds may be a short time. But in the contest of masters, 0.1 second is enough to tell the winner. Especially in a contest of equal strength like myself and Kakarot. 0.1 seconds, that is simply the key to victory. I don't know how to thank Mr. Ron enough. If it wasn't for you, maybe I would still be at the level of Super Saiyan 2. Vegeta looked at Ron gratefully, and said gratefully. This is a heartfelt thank you. Being stronger not only makes me feel satisfied in strength, but more importantly, spiritual satisfaction. I have always wanted to catch up with Kakarot's footsteps. Now I can surpass Kakarot. This was something he had almost given up on before Ron appeared. Quote dot quote. That's it. Stop talking useless words. Quote. I guide you to make you stronger, not only because of you. So you don't have to be so grateful to me. Looking at the grateful Vegeta, Ron said lightly. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the selection task. Closing square bracket. Option 1. Special training for Vegeta. Let Vegeta defeat Son Goku. Reward, the ability to resist Xeno clearing. Option 2. Give up training Vegeta. Let Vegeta lose to Son Goku. Reward, a Super Shenron chance to make a wish. And just as Ron's voice just fell. The electronically synthesized voice in my mind suddenly sounded after a long absence. System. When hearing the electronically synthesized sound in my head. Ron froze for a moment. Because my own system has not appeared for nine years. Since the last time I fought Gods of Destruction Champa, this system seems to have completely disappeared. Never showed up. I almost forgot about it, and I am no longer ready to completely rely on the system. Unexpectedly, at this time, it suddenly appeared again. And the reward this time is also very attractive. The reward for choosing one is the ability to resist Xeno purges. This is definitely a very heaven-defying ability. To know Xeno's clearing ability, that is the rule power of all universes. It is a force that nothing can resist. Whether it's gods of destruction, angel or grand priest. None are immune to Xeno's purge. From this we can see how perverted the reward this time is. As for the reward of choice 2, a chance to make a wish for Super Shenron. This is definitely a very nice reward. Know that Super Shenron is the most powerful god in the universe. He can grant any wish. After the Tournament of Power, Shenron was powerful enough to restore the universe bow that Zeno had cleared. From this point, we can know the power of Super Shenron. Although the two rewards given by the system are very attractive. But for the current Ron, there is no need to think about it at all, he will choose the first one without hesitation. Because the battle between Vegeta and Son Goku is inevitable. I have already agreed to Beerus, if I retreat temporarily now, it will appear that I am a bit cowardly. Moreover, although a chance to make a wish to Super Shenron is more precious, you can slowly collect Dragon Balls in the future. Even Zamasu, a Supreme Kai candidate, can find the Super Dragon Ball twice, so with his own strength isn't there no suspense to find the Super Dragon Ball. But the ability to resist Zeno's elimination, this kind of opportunity is rare. It is not something that can be obtained casually. If you rely on your own cultivation, it is almost impossible to obtain this ability in a short period of time. You must know that although your bloodline is an enhanced version of Angel Bloodline, it is only Angel Bloodline after all. There is a great possibility that his bloodline is not as strong as the Grand Priest. If even the Grand Priest can't defeat Zeno, then if you don't have the ability to resist Zeno's removal. What kind of qualifications can surpass Zeno? So there is no need to think too much about these two options. I choose the first one, specially trained Vegeta, let Vegeta beat Son Goku. Soon, Ron gave his choice. 
Congratulations to the host for making the selection. After the task is completed, the system will actively issue selection rewards. The mechanical synthesis sound of the system sounded again, then fell into silence. Since it is necessary to basically have everything, it is natural to wait for the task to be completed before receiving the reward. It seems that this time, I have to be sure that there is no one cure. Let Vegeta have a 100% chance of winning, so that he can feel at ease. As long as he acquires Zeno's clearing ability, there will not be many people in this world who can kill him. After a few more years of practice, my own strength might reach the level of Grand Priest. Mr. Ron, what's the matter with you? At this moment, looking at Ron with an active face, Vegeta asked. Mr. Ron has been happening for a few minutes. I don't know what he is thinking. So I had to interrupt him. It's okay, I'm thinking about how to make you 100% win right over Son Goku. Ron simply said something perfunctory. It seems that I have to train Vegeta more seriously. If I trained Vegeta myself before just to compete with Beerus. So training Vegeta now is for myself to survive better in this world. So BCDI must give 100% effort to guide Vegeta. Let him defeat Son Goku once and for all. Seeing Ron's serious face, Vegeta's heart was naturally excited again. I didn't expect that Mr. Ron would work so hard and be responsible so hard to make himself stronger. If I can't beat Kakarot this time, I'm really disappointed, and I'm too sorry for Mr. Ron. So Vegeta swore secretly in his heart that he must defeat Kakarot, definitely, absolutely. Subsequently, Vegeta issued a military order directly. Please don't worry, Mr. Ron, I will defeat Kakarot no matter what, and I won't embarrass you. Vegeta is very serious when he speaks. It seemed that what happened this time was not just about his own face and dignity. It's also about Mr. Ron's face. You can say it yourself, but you must not let Mr. Ron lose face in front of Beerus and the others. Okay, let's hurry up and start practicing the Flash Time Kung Fu. We're going to be in there for a few more years and make sure we beat Son Goku. Ron said something seriously to Vegeta. Then he began to instruct Vegeta on the practice tips of Flash Time Kung Fu. But at this time in the spiritual time room, time passed by every minute and every second. In the blink of an eye, more than half a year has passed. But in the world of Earth and Gods of Destruction, only one day has passed. At this time, Gods of Destruction in the Seventh Universe thought. Son Goku and Beerus are having an intense duel. At this time, Son Goku has turned into a Super Saiyan Blue form. The breath is very terrifying. But in front of Beerus, there is still a very big gap. No matter what kind of attack Son Goku makes, no matter how sharp his attack angle is, Beerus can easily dodge the past. After all, the gap between the two of them is really too big. Hey, your strength is too weak now. Hurry up and improve your strength. If you lose the battle with Vegeta, I will never let you go. Beerus kept dodging Son Goku's attacks, said to Son Goku with a very strong tone. With Son Goku's strength, he's no match for Vegeta yet. Okay, you two stop first, Whis said to the two of them. This kind of sparring, although it may also improve Son Goku. But it is too slow. In five days, it was impossible for him to surpass Vegeta. The only way to surpass Vegeta is to let Son Goku comprehend Ultra Instinct as soon as possible. Even with the imperfect Ultra Instinct, there should be no suspense in defeating Vegeta. Beerus and Son Goku stopped immediately and walked in front of Whis. Whis, hurry up and think of a way. This guy's improvement speed is too slow, and he can't beat Vegeta at all. Beerus said angrily, if Vegeta also loses to Son Goku this time, then there is really no place to put his old face. First we have to analyze the situation of Ron and Vegeta. Judging from the strength shown by Vegeta before, his strength has surpassed Goku by a lot. And in the next five days, it is absolutely impossible for Vegeta's strength to stand still, so his strength will increase again. More importantly, Lord Beerus, don't forget that Ron has not only mastered the Ultra Instinct, but also mastered the Flash Time Jumping Time skill. As long as he teaches Vegeta any kind of ability, then Goku will have no chance of winning. However, with Vegeta's heart, I don't think he is suitable for practicing Ultra Instinct, so Ron will probably give him the Flash Time skill. Now the only way for Goku to defeat Vegeta is to master the Ultra Instinct. 
If you can't master the Ultra Instinct, Goku has no chance of winning this battle. Whis analyzed very seriously. Mastering the Ultra Instinct is now Son Goku's only winning option. Cut. How could this be? Beerus's face was extremely pale at this moment. He never thought that they would be so passive. You know Whis is Angel. Speaking of Angel, Beerus suddenly remembered Angel's ability to also time. By the way, Whisper. Don't you Angel also have the ability to control time? As long as you teach Son Goku a stronger time ability, won't you be able to defeat Vegeta easily? After thinking of this, Beerus immediately spoke. Stop kidding, Beerus. Angel's direct ability can only be used by Angel, not even your gods of destruction. Not to mention that Goku is just an ordinary human being. If I teach him the practical ability, it will violate the law of Angel. After hearing Beerus's crazy words, Whis gave a big white eye, and then said coldly. Master Beerus, is he crazy to win? Even the most basic things like this are forgotten. After hearing Whis' words, Beerus could only frown. Indeed, such an approach violates Angel's law. Although Angel is very powerful, but above Angel, there are Master Zeno and Grand Priest who are even more powerful. Once they discover Angel's ability to teach humans or gods of destruction time without permission, they will definitely be punished. Even my own gods of destruction may be directly cleared by them. In this case, you should teach him Ultra Instinct immediately. Anyway, he must not be allowed to lose to Vegeta when the time comes. Beerus also had to let Son Goku choose Ultra Instinct. But this is almost a joke, he thinks this is absolutely impossible. The reason is very simple, in fact, every gods of destruction has practiced Ultra Instinct. But among the twelve gods of destruction, only I have comprehended the imperfect self-consciousness. You must know that every gods of destruction, even the least one, has lived for at least tens of millions of years. In such a long time, they have not been able to comprehend Ultra Instinct. This guy Son Goku is just a human being, and his fighting talent is undeniable. But it is absolutely impossible to comprehend Ultra Instinct within five days. I'll do my best. I think Lord Beerus knows better than anyone how difficult the Ultra Instinct is to comprehend. Whis just nodded and said. Although Son Goku's personality is more suitable for practicing Ultra Instinct, it doesn't mean that she will be able to practice it soon. Time passed day by day. In the blink of an eye, five days have passed quietly. Ron and Vegeta had only spent three days in the spirit time room. This is already the limit that Ron can bear. If you want to stand there for a few more years, you will definitely go crazy. And Vegeta is also quite competitive. In the past three years, he has mastered the flash time skill without any surprise. Although it can only jump for 0.1 seconds. But for the battle with Son Goku, 0.1 seconds should be enough. The premise is that Son Goku has not mastered Ultra Instinct. Of course, in this spiritual time house practice, it was not Vegeta who gained the most, but Ron. Because in the past few years, Ron has also been practicing constantly. And his strength has also exploded. Originally his unit value was 10, but after several years of practice, Ron's unit value has become 11. The combat power has reached 30 GN. Perhaps it sounds like such a combat power is not very strong. But you must know that one stream is equal to 10,000 valleys. And Beerus's current combat power is only more than 6,000 ditch. So at this time, Ron's strength has completely crushed Beerus. This is the benefit brought by the enhanced version of Angel's bloodline. After training, the improvement in strength far exceeds that of Gods of Destruction. Not to mention that the so-called geniuses Son Goku and Vegeta can be compared. Now he has absolute certainty, as long as he wants to, he can defeat Gods of Destruction Beerus in an instant. But even so, the gap between himself and Angel Wiss is still huge. It is not an easy task to reach the level of their Angel. And there are even more terrifying Grand Priest and Zeno, as well as the Dragon God Salama. Those guys are the real legendary powerhouses. It is no exaggeration to say that their unit value will definitely not be lower than Wowong Dashu. That is, the most outrageous, top-level unit. So if you want to reach the level of these real powerhouses, you still have a long way to go. But the road does need to go step by step. Can't rush. No one becomes fat in one go. Of course, 
This time in the training in the spiritual time room, the first thing Ron felt excited about was not the improvement of his strength. But after Ron's strength reached Jian's unit value, he actually mastered some of Angel's abilities. For example, some objects from a distance, objects from a distance. Of course, these are trivial matters. What excites Ron the most is his ability to control time. This time, the time ability he has mastered is the ability to stop time and reverse time. Although the practical ability he has mastered is not as outrageous as Wiss. But at this time, he can already turn back time for a minute. And the time still can reach 30 seconds. The numbers may sound small. But turning back the time for one minute, this is definitely an ability that is beyond comprehension. Because time goes back, this is a very heaven-defying ability. Even if it is time to go back 0.001 seconds. There is also the ability to freeze time, this ability does not seem to have been shown in Wiss in Dragon Ball Super. But it is certain that Angel has absolutely mastered this ability. Even time can be reversed, so time still is no exception. The ability to freeze time for 30 seconds may not be useful to those who are really strong. But if you meet an opponent with the same strength as yourself, it can play a huge role. It seems that with the improvement of his own strength, he also began to gradually master some of Angel's abilities. In this way, there is no need for me to follow Wiss to practice. Today is the appointed time with Beerus. Vegeta also came to the door early, and also brought a rich breakfast. Vegeta, are you ready? Ron looked at Vegeta, then asked. Doesn't this guy make or break today more than his dignity? Not only is it about your own face, but it is also about whether you can master the ability to resist Zeno's removal. So this battle, Vegeta must win no matter what. Don't worry, Mr. Ron. I have absolute confidence in this game. Even if Kakarot really understands Ultra Instinct, I will never lose. Vegeta clenched his fists and said confidently. Point zero. After mastering the Flash Time skill, the strength has reached the form of Super Saiyan's four full energy. If Kakarot can't be defeated in this way, then I am too ashamed. I hope you can actually do it, not just talk about it. By the way, how is the arena set up? Ron looked at Vegeta, and continued to ask. This time they set the game location on Earth. This is also the result of discussing with Beerus and the others. In fact, Beerus and Wiss' small thoughts are very obvious. If they stay on the Earth, they can eat a lot of delicacies from the Earth. In this way, even if you lose, you will feel more or less comforted in your heart. If they lose in the God Realm, not only will they have no food to eat, but it will also be their home field. At that time, if you lose your face, you will really lose your hair. Well, I've done everything you ordered. Vegeta nodded and said. In addition, he also invited everyone to watch this game. I must defeat Kakarot with my own hands in front of everyone. Tell everyone that I am still the strongest Saiyan prince in Saiyan. Okay, if that's the case, let's go there after breakfast. I think he can't wait for Son Goku and Beerus too. Raising the corners of his mouth, Ron said with a faint smile. To be honest, although the intensity of this battle may be average. But definitely a battle to look forward to. Is it Son Goku in Super Saiyan Blue who is stronger, or Vegeta in Super Saiyan 4 who is stronger? Did Son Goku realize Ultra Instinct? These are things Ron is more curious about. After a simple breakfast, Vegeta took Ron to the ring he built. Vegeta chose a relatively remote canyon. Because if you fight here, you won't implicate the city. With the current fighting power of the two of them, if they fight in the city, they can destroy a city in minutes. Even if you are fighting in the canyon, it doesn't mean that the city is absolutely safe. This requires both of them to control their power well. Number 18 also came along, because she also wanted to see the excitement, and by the way, see whether Vegeta is stronger or Son Goku is stronger. Anyway, staying at home alone is boring. By the time Ron and Vegeta arrived at the ring, many people had already appeared. Sun Gohan, Piccolo, Keelan, Tian Shinhan, even Bulma and Chi Chi waited here early. Because of each of them, looking forward to the battle between Sun Goku and Vegeta. Of course, there are also concerns. No matter who is injured among the two of them, it will be uncomfortable for the others, 767. This time, our Goku must win the game. After all, Goku has always been much stronger than Vegeta, don't you think so? 
At this moment, Chi Chi spoke from the side. What she said was not out of thin air, but true. It is an indisputable fact that Sun Goku has always been stronger than Vegeta. Except when the two first met, Vegeta was in the slight lead. Since that day, Vegeta has never surpassed Goku. Cut. Don't draw conclusions too early. Our Vegeta is also very strong, this time he will definitely beat Goku. After hearing Chi Chi's words, Bulma also pouted from the side. Whether Vegeta is good or bad is not something anyone else can say. My Goku is stronger. My Vegeta is stronger. With their hips akimbo and their chests straight, the two started arguing directly aside. Sun Gohan and others on the side looked helplessly. When these two people quarreled, most people really couldn't stop it. Call out. The next second, Ron and Vegeta suddenly appeared, which calmed down the war of words between the two. Kakarot and the others haven't come yet. Is that guy afraid to come? Looking around, he didn't see Sun Goku, so Vegeta said coldly. He had been looking forward to this day for a long time. Finally, I can finally defeat Kakarot with my own hands today. That guy Vegeta seems to be very confident. Will Goku really lose to him this time? Keelan asked in a low voice from the side. After all, how strong Vegeta is, they have all seen it with their own eyes in the last battle with Frieza. According to Goku, Frieza at the time was not necessarily able to beat himself. But Vegeta can be easily defeated. This is enough to show that Vegeta's strength has surpassed Goku at that time. It's only been five days now, and I don't know how Goku is practicing in the God Realm. Don't worry, Uncle Klin, I have absolute confidence in Dad. My father's opponent looks very strong every time, but every time my father can win the final victory. Although Uncle Vegeta is not an enemy, I don't think the result will change this time. Sun Gohan said very firmly on the side. After all, Sun Goku has been their spiritual pillar since childhood. And Sun Goku has never let them down. That's definitely the case this time too. Well, you're right, that kid Goku always surprises and amazes. Although Vegeta is indeed ridiculously strong right now, this final victory will definitely be Goku's. Tian Shinhan also seems to have a lot of trust in Sun Goku. After all, they have been rivals since childhood and have been together for decades. No one knows Sun Goku better than them. After hearing the discussion of several people, Trunks walked in front of Vegeta with some displeasure. Then he looked at Vegeta and asked, Dad, you can beat Uncle Goku this time, right? Although children should not take care of this kind of thing. But it seems that Brother Gohan and the other uncles don't have the slightest confidence in Dad. HMPH. That's a must. How could that Kakarot guy be my opponent? Vegeta said with incomparable confidence. And that answer put a smile on Trunks' face. Time passed minute by minute. After half an hour, Son Goku and Beerus finally arrived with a sound of breaking through the air. Son Goku walked directly in front of Ron and Vegeta. Then he greeted with a bright face. Hey Ron, Vegeta, I didn't expect you to come so early. Analyzing from the expression, Son Goku seems quite confident. Cut, you actually kept us waiting for half an hour. You don't think you can beat me by practicing for half an hour. Vegeta said to Son Goku with the corners of his mouth raised. At this moment, both of them felt extremely excited. Vegeta wants to defeat Son Goku once and for all. And Son Goku is also excited because the background is too strong. Ron also went over to say hello to Whis. As for Beerus, this guy's face is still not pretty. So Ron just ignored him. The last time I had a good conversation with him, I also took the initiative to greet him. But the guy didn't seem to want to talk to him. If that's the case, let's wait until he wants to take care of himself, shall we? Everyone who is the loudest at this time also greets Son Goku. After saying hello, the battle between the two officially began. This battle is hosted by Whis. In this case, in fact, everyone is very relieved. Because Whis is definitely fair. Then Mr. Goku has Mr. Vegeta, you two stand on stage now. However, in order to prevent the battle between the two of you from destroying the earth, I will also set up an energy shield. Whis said to Son Goku and Vegeta calmly. The earth is a real gourmet kingdom, if it is destroyed, there will be no place for me and Master Beerus to find such delicious food. Um, Son Goku and Vegeta nodded. Then the two of them flashed their bodies and reached the ring in an instant. 
The two stood in opposite corners. Kakarot, I finally waited for this day. Today I will definitely beat you to the ground and let you know that I, Vegeta, is the strongest Saiyan. Vegeta clenched his fist tightly, then said to Son Goku with a serious face. I have been thinking about this sentence for more than 10 years. Today I finally got the guts to say it. This feeling really makes people feel very comfortable. Hey, you're really strong now, Vegeta. But I won't let you in this game, so it's not certain who will win in the end. Son Goku smiled and said to Vegeta. During these five days, I have experienced devilish training. Strength has also been greatly improved. So now he doesn't feel that he is weaker than Vegeta. If that's the case, that's great. Vegeta sneered. At this time Wiss spoke again and began to announce some rules of the game. You too, I will announce the rules of the competition a little later. During the competition, you only need to beat the opponent out of the ring, or the other side begs for mercy to win. Of course, if the other side is beaten into a coma and cannot admit defeat, it is also considered a victory. But it's always a game, so don't kill yourself when you two fight, I think you know what to do at this point. Then now, let's start. After the voice of Wiss fell, the eyes of both of them instantly burst into sharp light. Almost at the same time, the fists of the two clenched tightly. Ha ha. Then roared. Golden flames erupted from Vegeta's body instantly. Vegeta directly transformed into Super Saiyan 4 form. On the other side, Son Goku also turned into Super Saiyan blue color with a roar. The battle between Son Goku and Vegeta finally kicked off. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.